Joe, why don't you just bookmark Ayaya so you can Ayaya without tipping Chad off and making them Ayaya before you Ayaya? The typing is the is the joke. The typing is the bit. The typing is, oh, he's typing. Is it going to be Ayaya or not? Brace for Ayaya. Oh, it wasn't. Who do these people think they are at the donut store when you say, hey, I would like some donuts? Or if you get some Timbits and they're like, do you want to pick which ones? Like, yeah, duh. Like, who who's just like, you know what? I trust you. You pick for me. Like, what? Like... Timbit? It's, a, it's a, the middle of the donut that they removed from the donuts. Timmy's is now the donut store. I didn't I didn't want to dox where I went, but then I said Timbit, so we're in it. Do, 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 do. Hello, Joe. Hey! I'm sorry for what for what, what I did yesterday. <laughs> Hello, Greg. Can I call you Greg? Is that okay? Hello, Greg. Welcome. <laughs> did, uh... I I, uh, I have um, children, so at the end of stream, usually I have to I have to run and be a dad. Um, so I didn't see if chat was well behaved. Were they well behaved enough yesterday? Were you all good? No, I think so. Yeah. Why <laughs> for us? <laughs> we were lovely. We only bully you. That's not true. That's not true. Your community is lovely, lovely, lovely. Aw, that's good. I'm glad that they were they were nice. Aw. We tried to represent you as best as we could. Alright, not touching that. Not touching that one. Give Greg a marble. <laughs> Alright, if, if Greg wants a marble, Greg can have a marble. Oh. <laughs> we are having an event where... Um, people can save up their, their, uh, Twitch points for watching chat and buy a marble. And after, uh, after enough, uh, marbles and points have been, uh, collected, um, they're, all the marbles are going to be raced. Um, and the marble represents an anime and whichever marble wins the race is the anime I am going to watch. So people can, can, uh, can cash in marbles. So if you, if you would like to, uh, put a marble into the race you can uh, you can choose any anime and we will add it on it's really complicated it's not that complicated it's not that complicated anyway should we start the game now explain the voted game <laughs> yes i'm all about this what's already in is there a list there there is a list but i'm uh, i'm uh, i'm afraid to read the list out <laughs> cuz some of them on there <laughs> uh, don't worry, I've seen every hint. <laughs> Chat, this is your champion. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Uh, it might be fun to read them all out, actually. Okay, so, um... List of redeemed anime marbles. Batman Ninja. Neon Genesis Evangelion. Mob Psycho 100. Yuru Camp. Hayayo Mizaki's Movies. I think I said that wrong, sorry. Master of, uh... Martial Hearts. Haven't You Heard I'm Sakamoto. DNA Squared. Bokat Bokusatsu Tenshi Dokuro-chan. Steins Gate, Kill La Kill, Tengen Toppa Gurren Lagan, Higurashi, All Seasons, Code Gias, Mawaru Penguin Drum, uh, is it Kaji? Is that how you say that? Nichijo, Odd Taxi, Beast Rs or Beast Stars, One Punch Man, Keep Your Hands Off Izo Izoken, Katana Gatari, Guilty Gear, Story Mode? I don't remember that one. Cyberpunk Edge Runners, FLCL first season only. Attack on Titan: The Final Season Part Two only. <laughs> what? Bloom into you. Vinland Saga, DN Angel, Cowboy Bebop, Princess Principal, Death Note, Monster, Ghost in the Shell, Avatar: The Last Airbender, Bacano, Persona Five: The Animation. 
twice. Oh, that has two marbles. Persona 4, the golden anime. Spy X Family. Neon Genesis Evangelion again. There's two of those now? I didn't know there were two of those. Huh. Okay. Uh, Legend of the Galactic Heroes. And the last three are... My Little Sister Can't Be This Cute. Episode 528 of One Piece specifically. And Psycho Pass the Movie. Alright, what do we get? To be honest, I feel like the most fun thing would be to make Joe watch something that would scar him for life. <laughs> How are you fitting in so well here? <laughs> well, anyway, you let, let me know what the marble is and we will add it to the list. <laughs> oh, man. What are your thoughts on the game so far? Not enough date. For real. <laughs> no, tell me no. Tell me no way. Thank you, Dalmec, for gifting a sub to Bill Nye, the cream pie guy. Thank, thank you, Dalmec. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna regret saying this, but I kind of want to throw Food Wars into the mix. I've heard of Food Wars. I've heard that's very horny. That's, uh, that's, that's probably on brand. Food Wars? Okay. Read synopsis? Okay, let's see. Food Wars. Souma or Soma? Souma Yukihara has been cooking alongside his father... Joe Yuchiro? Sorry, for as long as he can remember. As a sous chef at his father's restaurant, he has spent years developing his culinary expertise and inventing new dishes to amaze their customers. He aspires to exceed his father's skill and take over the restaurant one day, but he is shocked to learn that Joe Yuchiro is closing up the shop to take a job in New York. Rather than tagging along with his father, Soma finds himself enrolling at the prestigious... Uh, Tutsuki Culinary Academy, where only 10% of its students end up graduating. So it's is it like Squid Game, but with cooking? The, the, the school is famous for its shoku, shoku geki, intense cooking competitions between students often used to settle debates and arguments. Joyuchiro tells so Souma that to surpass him and survive the next three years, survive, survive the next three years at Tutsuki and graduate there. Okay. The Academy's brutal curriculum and fiercely competitive student body await the young chef who must learn to navigate the treacherous environment if he wants to stand a chance at realizing his dreams, but is skill alone skill alone enough to let him rise to the top. All right, this is this is burying the lead uh, as, as far as I know from this. Isn't this borderline, you know, softcore porno mag? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Okay. All right, that's on the list. Oh man. Limited edition. <laughs> all right, all right. Inhumane genome experiments carried out at Horadori's research facility. The family name was Okiura. Left half. Two X's? Terror is just playing with us. A challenge from Terror. Oh yeah, when we ended, um, uh, Ryuki had shot someone, right? Why didn't we look at the, um, like, half of Chikara was on the, the monument, and it looked like there was ice around him, and we never commented on that. Is that because I went straight into the VR without looking at the body first? I'm surprised that wasn't, um, that wasn't brought up at all. What direction do you like? Up, left, right, down, up, up, always up. I don't really carry. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, Mizuki, but armed as you are, you cannot ride this ride. The metal detectors will stop you. No, they won't. Besides, there are no metal detectors. Can you promote the Jad's game gem? I can, but I was I was waiting to see if uh, someone would ask me to do that first because no I don't want to mistime it. No, but there is someone who looks like they might give out balloons. What a coincidence running into you here. What's up? Um, well... Oh no, uh, then the terrible female message time we balloon search channels. Oh yeah, search for balloons, that's what we're doing. So these balloons might lead to a break in the case. And finding them would help with arresting the culprit. Pop it right Probably. open. 
Would you want to get a Date plushie in, in honor of Greg? I think a, a Date plushie would be pretty cool, yeah. I still have to get the, um, the figurine of 13 Sentinels as well. Has to be Iori, of course. Nah, it's probably gonna be, um, uh, Tatsuno. It's a cold storage warehouse. Oh, she remembers. Kibagon! What was that? My impression of the Kaiju Kibagon. He resides in the lumber yards of Koto. Th that's what Iris said. It wasn't my idea. Her name is Natsuno. No, that's gonna be your name when I get her tat a tattoo of her. Tatsuno. Sorry, I wasn't clear. Sorry. You're the one bringing it up. Well. Yeah. See, you can see it there. There's this this frost, and we didn't we didn't inspect the corpse in time. We went right into VR. So I wonder if that's why. Ringing any bells? Mizuki, look. What is this? As you can tell, his temperature is rising rapidly. You talking about Yakuza games? Oh yeah, I will. We'll get to all the Yakuza games eventually. I'm making him horny. You don't have the sex appeal for that, Mizuki. <laughs> oh, I am not gonna take that from you, Aiba. The point is, Gen is agitated. Though I can't. <laughs> not, not that that's a stupid conclusion to make. No, it's that you don't have the sex appeal for I'll that. Determine exactly why. Picked up. But, uh... Fine, uh, if you say so. What was that? It seemed like he was talking to someone. Who? Unknown. Is this, is this game on the same level as the first one? Not so far, no. I think I prefer the first one to, to this one so far. Uh, a lot of people seem to think that uh, this doesn't end well, so we'll see. Maybe maybe it will end well. I don't know, but like so far the first one has, has been uh, been more fun. This is my favorite spot. I came to look at the ocean. Looking at the horizon really calms me down. How long have you been here? Since about eight in the morning. Don't you need to open for lunch Whoa. today? No, I don't really feel up for it today. I'll open it for dinner only. Shouldn't you take running your restaurant a little more seriously? But I'm exactly that. Serious. I don't want to serve food to my customers when I'm not at my best. Cooking is a serious affair. Big Monk I don't vibes. want to be like Ota, cooking some half-assed meals. Whoa. No, I, I don't know about any balloons. Got it. Sorry I can't be of any help. No, you don't have to apologize. Yeah, Jen's best personality trait is hating Ota. Him. Yeah, he's not his usual self. Do you think he's a different person? Meaning... Someone else wearing a Gen mask. Well, not that that is impossible, but... He has the right voice, and the right... ...size, too. That's gonna be hard to pull off. It can't be. Gen... Yeah, that looks about, about right as last time, right? What is it? Why are you staring at me? Oh, oh, sorry. No, it's okay. I can tell what you're thinking. You don't think my face is monstrous, do you? No. I felt this way before. That touch. From who? I was born with a crooked skeleton. My muscles and my skin are different from regular people. I got picked on since I was a kid. People hated me. Insulted me. Threw rocks. Spit on me. That was just... life. Normal. But she... Well, we just just wink sync whenever we want Aren't now, huh? Afraid? Just whenever we want. Not at all. Aren't I disgusting? No. I think you're charming, if anything. Aww. And I know that 
Your heart is more pure than anyone else. That's why I love you, Gen. That warm heart of yours, too. The way you look. All of it. Amame. She loves you and all you guys. Oh, that's sweet memory. I told you this is how I was born, right? But I wasn't supposed to look like this. Wait, was that a memory or or because it's a dream, right? Was he is that a dream he hopes that will happen? Or is that a dream if I'm remembering that moment? My read on that was that actually did happen. And he's and he's uh he's remembering it. This was a result of genome experiments in the name of youth and eternal life at the hands of Chikara Horadori. Alright. You asked me about him earlier. That's why I hesitated to answer. I couldn't say anything. The terrible memories. I'm sorry I had to tell you all of this. You can forget it, really. Well, see ya. Mizuki, should you not pursue him? He knows about Chikara. I know, but I gotta get my head straight. Can you give me some time? What about the balloons? Yeah, I'll still look, but... There's a lot of thoughts I have to keep in my head now. I don't understand what's going on with the, with the Mizuki line here. Like, was it just one round of treatment when she was so young that she couldn't remember? Or, like, and they didn't follow up? She didn't have to go back later on? They didn't check on her or anything like that? Like, hmm. Oh, you don't have to tell me. Chikara's left side was found at Yoyagi Park, right? Wow, information gets to you fast. I know when to make things quick and when to... Take my time. <laughs> Spine says, the pincher in the rye. Hey, <laughs> want to see a video of Luca Claridium being a parasite inside a snail? Absolutely. No, that sounds disgusting. Why? You're making oh. that up. You know, if you can't think of anything to say, you don't have to say anything. Do you think Ibo would still love me if I was a worm? I always sleep on top of this counter. All right, that's what Mama said. The top lip of a duck-lipped girl. Chuck Steak Redemption. It is a story about a man named Andy who gets sent to prison for a crime he didn't commit, where he makes Chuck Steaks. <laughs> okay. I've got a riddle for you. If you get it right, drinks on me. What happens when you get rough with a fuzzy navel? It spills, honey. I don't get it. I don't get it. Hmm, yeah. I have a little nugget of information regarding Horadori. You have dirt on Chikara? The most pungent of dirt always makes its way to my nose. So what information do you have? Chikara was a devoted believer of a new religion called the Order of Percent, and their dirt is quite fragrant indeed. Anyway, he really believed in the simulation theory. The moon of a percent is the only side of the tree. One moon is the one creating this world. Hmm, okay. They intentionally amend their memories so they could forge through this world of lies. Just riffing over there, huh? Which is why we worship the one with the sun. The percent. What was that? Part of their new scripture, I suppose. Smells fishy, if you ask me. No fishier than you. What's the sign of percent? That I don't know, but I have a feeling it has to do with the case. You know, the percent sign is two circles separated by a line. If you ask me how that's significant, I couldn't tell you, but this order of percent must be involved in all this somehow. It's also two two circles being divided by a line. Is it going to be like a tattoo or a birthmark or something? Hmm. Oh, these are my mighty balls. After I plucked these out, I filled them with silicone. Oh, that's why there are two. 
She is clearly joking. It's all, it's all hey, about have the you challenge. seen any red and blue balloons? I haven't, but I can ask the milky balls. <laughs> oh, mighty balls. Who is the biggest liar in the world? Those bags that say tear here. Oh, absolutely True. right. What is with that? Who cares about that? That is totally unrelated. Sorry, that was my heart screaming out to be heard. I don't need to hear your heart screaming right now. <clears throat> now, let's try this for real. Oh, balls, the great and powerful, please find something for me. Where are the red and blue balloons? You should go to Ikume Shrine, where the fruit of immortality resides. You will find it there. Hmm. Ooh, did that work? Didn't Ryuki say he was going there too? But I think Ryuki is uh in, in custody. Well, I guess we should head to Ikume Shrine. You actually believed her? Not necessarily, but it's something. Something, huh? Thanks, Mama. That was a big help. I don't know how any of that information helped you. But if it did, that's great. Come back again whenever. I'll be waiting. No balloons? Leon? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> well, I know why you're here. Oh, it's you. What happened? Uh, forget about me. What's with your voice? It's a long fucking story. What do you want? Ooh. I wanted to ask you something. Ooh. Is it okay that I'm here for this? Yeah, it's fine. The more information, the better. I told him that Chikara's left side. Okay, and the terror left me a message taunting me with a balloon search challenge. How about that? Blue and red balloons. Uh, is this a, a voice changing choker? Because that. Oh, that makes things really difficult. <laughs> Oh no! Where's where's that coming from? Oh, Mama, your lanterns are so big, so big and manly. Yes, I don't like where this is going. Ah, hot stone spas feel so good. How are you feeling right now? Happy, sad, popping? Don't feel like that. I'm I'm popping. I'm popping. Popping balloons. Relaxy. Oda. Piece of paper with some general principles written on it. Do not panic if you accidentally open a porn site while you're on the train. On your phone? This one's pencil on a whiteboard. Uh, pantomime at the reform school. Alright, we got a wink sink uh, moment here. What were you trying to do? Mama, I... Oh, my sweet flower. You shouldn't fall in love with a rogue like me. What, what, what YouTube skit is this? But Mama... I can't help myself. <sighs> You're only going down a road of pain and regret. No, that's not true. As long as I have you by my side. Tessa. Mama. <laughs> Tessa. How did you get this tech? Is it specific to Iris? I hacked into it. There is one item in the search history. How to defeat Mammal. Oh, they play sure. Wait, how do you need help beating Mammal? I don't understand this reference, sorry. This is a Voch Locho. A what? A voice changing lock choker. It's a necklace thing that can change your voice. If I wear this, I can have the perfect voice. The perfect voice? So you actually want to sound like that? No! You got it all wrong! This was a gift! It came preset like this! Who gave it to you? Preset? Shinpei! He gave it to me yesterday! He said it was a thank you gift! I have analyzed the voice. Wait, what happened to Chimpei? Didn't- Wasn't Chimpei going down- Didn't Chimpei discharge a gun in his- in his restaurant? Like, multiple times? Like, and almost kill a couple people? Like... What- what- what happened there? The voice he is using now is that of Iris Sagan. 
Right. I knew I recognized it. Moma and Chimpei are hardcore Aset fans. Or perhaps I should say, Tessa fans. So Chimpei gave him that Voch Locho with Iris's voice set as the default? It seems that way. What a creep. I agree. Voch Locho is a product sold on the dark web. Use a PC to upload someone's voice to analyze their voice profile, input that information, and put the Voch Locho on your neck. This allows for small electric signals to alter the voice. By the way, I'm good at voices too. All right, so there are at least three people that are wearing a mask that could also ha be having one of these on at the same time. So that, fun, fun. <laughs> the thing about that is, I lost the key. How? Well, I was getting pretty into the booze here at the office last night with this thing on. So you were playing around with it. The more details he gives, the creepier he sounds. I woke up and I couldn't find the fucking key. I thought I had put it somewhere safe or something, but I couldn't remember. Dahlia, Jen, and oh, there's four. Da Dahlia, Jen, Date, and uh, the masked woman. So that's why he called on my services as a lockpick to help. I've known Leon for years. I know what he can do. <laughs> Thanks, but those are days I would rather forget. I never will. Do you have any idea how much money you made me? I'm sure you know this already, but this guy here? That's in the past. I've gone clean. Anyway, Leon, get this thing off me. I got shit to do today. <laughs> Why don't we leave it on for a bit? Let me hear that cute voice a little longer. Whoa. Burn it, hell. Whoa. Ugh, stop with that occult crap. I don't like it one bit. I don't get it, and I don't like it. The only thing I can tell you is that I have no idea. Hey, so, uh, I just work? Why does Moma sound like that? And why is Leon still alive? Um, just, what do you mean? This is Moma's normal voice. What are you talking about? I haven't seen any. There are supposed to be three balloons. You haven't heard about any of them being spotted? Sorry, I got nothing. Damn. We know terror is abnormal. I figured since you're abnormal too, maybe you'd have an idea. I'm not abnormal. I'm the most normal. When he raises his voice like that, it is not what I would call convincing. Wait, you weren't listening just now? I'm here to take the Voch Locho off. I'm a locksmith, and I'm a locksmith. Uh, that's a bizarre situation. I don't really know what happened, but I will say this. He got what was coming to him. You know that I was a janitor at Horadori Institute, right? Director Horadori and I talked. I heard a bunch of rumors. Rumors? It would take a while to explain, so I'd rather tell you later. But... Mizuki, I admit I am curious as well. I smell a somnium! However... Right, we need to focus on the balloons. Oh, I saw one at Iowan earlier. The orphanage? Yeah, it was tied to a tree. I mean, I didn't get a good look at it. It was just out of the corner of my eye. Thanks, I'll go check it out. But why were you there? I was there to see my beautiful princess. Hey, Leah. Please, can you get this thing off me already? The <coughs> Joker. What's going on? Moma is losing circulation to his brain. The choker must be preventing blood flow. Is it getting tighter? Leon, please. Yeah, got it. I'm the lockpicking Leon. Ugh, this old geezer. His breath stinks. Force binding. That's not the concern right now. This is life or death. I can't help it. My sense of smell is better than a giant pouched rat. What the hell kind of animal is that? Couldn't you have just said dog? Mizuki, look for the key. <laughs> The key? The key that will unlock the choker! He's trying- like, his breath is so bad he can't do his work? Did you check the crest? Huh? Did I hear something? Crest? Is that a hidden <gasps> safe? It appears to be. There's an ASAP figure, and- Thank you, Tiger there King. There it is! It's the key! Yes, I am sure it is. But why does he have an ASIT figure? Mizuki, focus! 
after all that. And as you can see, folks, it is that simple. You saved me. Sorry about all the ruckus. Thanks. You should thank Leon. He's the one who opened the safe. Haha. <laughs> the master of unlocking at your service. Now, hold on. I don't make sense. Wouldn't picking open the choker be easier than picking the safe? Eh, whatever. Mizuki, we need to continue our investigation. Right, we need to find the balloons. Oh, I have an idea. Hey, Moma, can I borrow your Voch Locho? Yeah, sure. You saved my life. I owe you one. Thanks, Moma. What are we going to use it for? What is it, Mizuki? Nothing. Just... this really takes me back. But now's not the time for reminiscing. We need to find the balloons. Why did they make the voice changer look like a fetish toy? Is is this your your first Somnium stream? There it is. This is very on brand. Look, over there! No doubt about it. That is one of Terra's balloons. Just like Leon said! But it is high out of reach. It's fine. I got it. Hiya! Wow. Okay, pick up all the pieces. Unra, two. Why did you pop it in midair? Don't sweat the details. Well, in any case, you did reveal what was inside the balloon. Yeah. It says two. And on the back? Unra. No way. Terror is a pervert. What? Unra? Clearly it's a code for undergarments. Terror is a panty thief. I mean, probably, but... Either way. This is not enough information. We need to find all three balloons. Oh. Hello. It's a nurse. Hello, nurse. Oh, Romeo, Romeo. Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Because that's what mom and dad named me. She appears to be in a theater group or something. Yikes. I didn't see anyone. I just got here moments ago. I see. If no one saw them, they must have snuck in at night. The security here is pretty bad. It hasn't improved any over the years. But that is how Mr. Chieda wants it. This isn't a prison. We don't need cameras. Oh, if only we did. That awful incident all those years ago could have been avoided. What incident? The missing child. I'm sure you've heard of a child going missing from Ion. Uh-oh. Uru Somazuki, a six-year-old, went missing one day. Whether it was kidnapping or an accident, no one has any clue. And he still has not been found. It was a distressing event. If they had cameras, maybe it could have been prevented. Even after that tragedy, Mr. Chieda still refuses to upgrade the security around here. What? I don't know what he's thinking. Good day. Are you here about Chikara? I saw in the news that a corpse was found. That makes the whole thing even more baffling. What do you mean? I had always thought Jin Furuwe's disease had something to do with his murder. He had half-body tumors. Tumors only appeared on one half of his body? It's a rare disease that causes tumors to develop only on one half of the body. Oh. Organs, skin, bones. I don't remember which side of the body it was for him, but I always thought his murder had to do with the disease somehow. But Chikara doesn't fit into that at all. I remember. Chikara's right side that was found at Sakiba High had all the innards removed. That wasn't reported by the okay. press. Okay, so is the half-body tumor is the reason why he got cut in half and matched with another half? That's what I think is going to happen. Or are the half-body tumors because he got cut in half and half of him came from someone else who had tumors? Hmm. Hmm. But how does it all fit together? Whatever the case, the nurse may have just given us a vital clue. 
You would have to be matched with someone who's who's the exact same height There's as you, right? To think about. One of the children here is cared for at our hospital, but they didn't want to come to the hospital today. So I came here to attend to them. All right, thank you, nurse. Thank you, Jill. Thank you, Clive. Thank you, Gav. Wait, didn't we like have both halves of his body? We didn't sh we didn't see any tumors in there when we were doing any of the scans or genetic testing that we did for it. You see? No balloons here. Mama said you should go to Ikume Shrine where the fruit of immortality resides I trust her mystical precognition as far as I can throw her Huh What's the fruit of immortality anyway? Likely the Tokijiku no Kaku You know it? Yes, I have heard of it before It is said that eating it will grant you youth and eternal life Many believe it is a Tachibana orange. It is an object of worship at this shrine. Wow. The fruit of immortality. What is your running theory about this game? I don't really have one. I don't really understand what's going on. I know that there's something weird about um there's something weird about the timeline, and I'm and I'm bracing for something along the lines of um this is misleading on purpose. But I don't know exactly in what way every single time i think of that i get i get um tripped up by the characters like like my 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 brain initially wants to go to there is no time skip that's what my brain that's what my brain wants to go to and then all the characters acknowledge the time skip too much so it's not that but yet my brain keeps rubber banding back to there being no time skip i don't know why um so maybe it's just just a just a bad theory uh, but apart from that, I don't I don't really know what's going on. Um, I couldn't guess what happened in the first game either. So I feel pretty confident that when the day ticks over, something weird happens. And that's how Ryuki lost Shoma. What's the most outlandish prediction you have for this game, if any? I don't, I don't have, like, I don't have any, really. Um, like, I think my, my main shot in the dark right now is that, um... The masked girl is is probably Mizuki from another timeline. Like, I need more information about like exactly how the how the genetic thing is working because they're like splitting people in half and and Chikara was like combining people to to double their strength, right? So it's like is and the uh, the masked the masked Mizuki, if it is a masked Mizuki and it might not be, said something specifically like this body's not strong, whereas Mizuki's body is strong. So is it like? Ha the body was was cut in half and like one one version that they grow out gets all the strength and the other one gets all the weakness in some way like i don't know how that would work but it's like something some along those lines i wonder if something similar was ha happened to uh to jen as well because it was something about that i don't know what's a morb <laughs> Oh, the Tamagotchi. Uh, what light light novel genre might get popular? Um, Sci-fi, Esekai, retirement home, harem, harem love comedy. Oh, that one, that one for sure. Classic model painting already does that. E. Uh, so we we played uh, the Zero Escape series um, before this, and during our playthrough of the Zero Escape series, the movie Morbius was at the height of meme memes and meme them, and in those games, they call it the morphogenic field whenever you jump between timelines, um, like this in the story. And uh, so we just started calling that morbing, kind of kind of naturally. And now it's just become a word that we use, like, unironically without realizing that we should explain it to anybody. <laughs> because it's just become so commonplace. So if I move between the timeline, I would call that morbing over here or, or morbing information from another timeline. It's pretty stupid, but it's just like... It's like set in my brain now. <laughs> hey, wait! There it is. There it is. I'm gonna be the eating balloon. a donut, chat. Don't mind me. You are correct. This is a red and blue balloon. See, I told you. How did Mama know? Doesn't matter to me. It should. Let's try popping it. It looks like there's something yeah, in there. Yeah. How? How did Mama know? So, so far I've been okay with Mama's, like, um, fortune telling being a fun replacement for her, like, calling her, some of her informants on the phone. 
or her so her um, sources on the phone or whatever, confidants or whatever. But like, how could she have known this? This is uh, this is weird. Hmm. Let's do it. Maybe someone saw someone suspiciously carrying around a balloon. She morphed. There you go. She morphed. Three. Oh, where's one? Three. What does it say on the back? Indig. Three and indig. I have no idea what that means. There is still one more balloon left. Unra indig. Indigo prophecy. Don't even joke. Don't even joke. Whoa, where'd you get those rockets? Speaking of rockets, there was the that detail with the rocket going off after that. All right, but the last balloon was nowhere to be found. What was that all about? Ugh, the sun is already setting. What do we do? Calm down, Mizuki. It is dangerous to drive while agitated. It's fine. At this speed, falling wouldn't even hurt me. Whoa. But the bike could break. It was provided to you by Abyss. If you damage company property like that, it will come out of your salary. Ugh. Good girl. Mizuki, it's from Boss. Crap. I will connect you. Adrian. Hey, Mizuki. I got a call from HQ. There was a report of someone spotting a balloon in the warehouse district in Ariake. Can you head there right away? Wait, but... I was there already. I didn't see any balloons. You must have missed it. They said they saw it around 8.30 a.m. 8.30 a.m.? Anyway, I'm counting on you. Hmm. If the balloon was there at 8.30 a.m. And it was gone by the time we got there. That must mean... Someone took it. But who would have done that? Could it be? Jen? Huh. Oh, this balloon? I brought it back for Amame. Sorry, I didn't realize you need it. You need more, more specific about the balloons that you want. It's in the freezer. Oh, there are more people here this time. Jen! Hey, hey, you can't just barge into the kitchen like that. Just listen, please. Gen, are you hiding something from me? Uh-oh, did you find out I've been using frog meat? Cut the shit. I'm searching your place. Stop, hey, come on. My customers are going to be freaked out if they see you rummaging around here. You can't be touching things in the kitchen. It's unsanitary. And on top of that, boy, I hate to have to ask this, but your do you warrant? have a warrant? Ooh. I know. Ooh. There's a way to search without touching anything. Right. Sorry, I can't do that. I've dedicated my life to cooking, unlike Oda Matsushita. Why do you hate him so much? Have you met him? How would you feel if there was an excellent sharp knife just sitting there, rusting away because no one was caring for it? It's like that. There, you mean literally it's right there? Yeah. D do you mean like Oda could be a lot better than he is? Is that, that That's my read on that. Huh, that's not what I expected him to say. What do you mean? I don't want anything. I don't know what you're talking about. There was a report of someone seeing the balloon at around 8.30 a.m. at the warehouse district. You said you were there around 8 a.m. again. You must have seen it. Gen, not Jen. Did someone call him Jen at some point? Because I was calling him Gen before, wasn't I? I thought we were going to do x-ray around here. There it is. A popped balloon. But x-ray will not reveal the color. It could be a coincidence. Hey, what are you- Shut up. What is this? Why did you lie? Somnium. Actually, I don't really care why right now. I need you to answer me. There should have been a piece of paper in the balloon. Where is it? Are you really not gonna tell me? Then you're coming with me. Or, I can have the cops bust in here and close you down for the day to search every inch of this place. Which do you prefer? So he won't talk to you, but he'll agree to a Somnium. Okay. Yay! Alright, here we go! Whoa. Why did he lie? That's oh, what it I'm moved gonna up. sink into him to find out. Interesting. Well, you may not discover exactly why during the sink. But I can still get valuable information. Ah, you mean what the piece of paper in the balloon said. 
Yeah, exactly. Who said he agreed? Well, we needed okay. a warrant to search Before this place, start, so... I'll say one thing. There are only six minutes in Somnium. I know. I can only stay in Somnium for six minutes. I've heard it so many times I can hear it in my sleep. Well, technically... Let's just get started. Okay. Ready? And... Somnium. Let's begin. Oh. Man, I haven't had a donut in forever. This is so good. This is Brahmin. This is a small place. Finding what we need should go quick. Eh. I would not be so sure. You can never anticipate what might happen in Somnia. Yeah. Anyway, what is that you're doing there? Salmon. What flavor donut? It's a chocolate dip. I am imitating the rugged salmon of the Sea of Okutsk. But why? We are here to investigate Gen. He has been acting fishy lately. Nice one, Iba. Aha, very clever. Shall we begin? Plus two. We're just not gonna acknowledge that, huh? Somnium skin! Activate! Burning! Guess we should look around the place first. Okay. Okay, I have no idea what to do here. Gotta be behind, right? Ooh, the freezer. Inspect. Yes, yeah, inspect the freezer. Inspect. It is not opening. It's not opening. Walk-in style. Let's look at something else. Hmm. Let's see. By incorporating different flavors, a patron will be able to enjoy this same cuisine multiple times. The angle of the knife can change the balloon? flavor, texture, appearance, for intestine stew. Wow, Genny. He sure studies cooking hard. You can tell how serious he is about being a chef. Which explains why it tastes so good. Oh. Oh, okay. Win the cooking battle. Cooking skill, something, can be improved by practice and watching TV shows. What is this? Komeji's voice. TV? Or maybe the radio? Let's look. Something's happening over there. You know what else is weird? Blackout. How the little you okay? What happened? How the little uh, news ticker said that uh, Shoma lost his dad six years ago instead of his dad was brutally murdered by terror. You know, like that—that that was a weird way of phrasing that. What? The floor. Now, hmm. returning back to us, our mysterious Super Chef A! The pride of our culinary academy, Super Chef A! Chef what? A! Chef Super A! Super Chef A? Iba? A for Iba! This episode's battle shall be A versus Gen. Our panel of gourmet dining expert judges tonight shall be... Matsushita Diner's very own Ota Matsushita to provide commentary. I'm looking forward to tasting Super Chef A's dishes, but the other contestant tonight has a chance to finally impress me. Before we've even gotten started, Oda is already trying to get under Gen's skin. He is known for his brutal honesty. Is he? Our second judge for this evening Why is he shall this be again? the beautiful Amame Doi from the Fine Maid Cafe establishment Sunfish Pocket. <laughs> Food Wars came early. <laughs> hey now, you're the judge. You can't play favorites. <laughs> Fine. I'll be fair and square. Let's get a comment from both of the contestants. Of square. First, Gen Ishiyagane. I don't take cooking lightly. Oh, you can sense his passion burning like spicy Korean cuisine. I think that enemy got the point. Next is Super Chef A. 
Tell us what's going through your mind right now. Uh... Okay, we're almost ready to begin this showdown. Yeah. Ah, uh, a cook off with Gen? If you win, can you unlock his mental lock? Even if that was the case, I've never cooked before. You're a high tech artificial intelligence. You can do this. I. I can? Can yes, she? If you train. Train? We can use the timey from earlier to shorten any amount of time down to one second. Well, true. But even a few hours of practice will not be enough. I said any amount of time. Mizuki. What? Don't tell me. What are you thinking? I'm thinking about training. Are you serious? Please, tell me you are joking. Wait, we could do that? <laughs> Let's begin the training. Uh, seriously? Time user cannon? And so the long days of training began. Nice shot. You call yourself an AI and that's all you can do? Do it again. Yes, chef. Sorry, chef. And so the months passed, nearly a year later, though only one second had passed in reality. What, you, what? You what? dare challenge me to a battle of culinary prowess? Pathetic. Yes. I've created a monster. A cooking monster. Bring it on, Gen Ishiogane. Wow, look at that passion. You can cut the tension in the air with a butter knife. Please introduce the thief. This battle's theme is amateur a cooking. Course meal for okay. our judge. Chef's battle. Tonight is the night we reveal the fruits of our cooking labor. What will you make first? A salad. Fiber is an important part of a healthy diet. With my culinary inspiration backed by dedicated training, I can do anything. Let's cook. Oh no. S D down. S right A D right. A S D A S D left up. Witness my superior cooking technique. What is she doing? She must be making some kind of salad. Wow! She threw the ingredients into the air! And she jumped after them. Good thing this stadium is so enormous. The vegetables are getting sliced up. I can't even explain what I'm seeing. I get it. By slicing the vegetables high in the air, she's incorporating fresh air into the texture and flavor. <laughs> Incredible. The super samurai chef A is closing her eyes now. She sees the food with her heart. What? She didn't cut anything. No, look. A, a spiny lobster. The passion, the pride. It's a symbol of her dedication to win this battle. <laughs> what a crazy dish. Iva, what was that? Cooking is an invitation to taste and see with your mouth. True. Spiny lobsters are yummy. I see. It sure looks impressive. Lobster salad? Oh. Spiny lobster salad. Done. Looks good. Chef A, what a natural. Her first dish is complete. Looks like a solid dish. What's happening on the challenger side? Stone pop bibimbap? That's a bit heavy for an appetizer. I was just no, thinking the same. This is bibimbap salad. I want a mommy to feel comfortable expressing herself, to show the range of her emotions. Which is why you chose such a colorful salad. And the egg on top is an accent? As much as I hate to admit it, it's clear plenty of thought went into this. What do you mean we infused fresh air and jumped in the air and cut it and made it a show and there's a golden lava? What, what do you mean? Oh my god, an egg. What? Like, what the What's next on the menu for Gen Ishiyagane's side? The main course. It's looking pretty good. 
We can't lose, Aiba. Who do you think you're talking to? I did not endure that training for nothing. What are you making next? My main course. Meat. Meat. I will bear my soul with this dish. S S D right. S A S D down left. S D right D S A right up right. Witness my superior cooking technique. Now, Super Chef A bearing her soul. Looks like steak. A steak? Kind of a simple meat dish for her maid, no? This super chef A. I'm huh. sure she you has think some this is the meat, this is the plate, meat. the, 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 the real meal is going on. Let's take a look. Wow. The meat is up in the air. She's instantly resting the meat after cooking it. It's a high-level technique. And now Super Chef A has taken flight like a hawk. She's going to salt the meat in the air. Wow. She's salting while spinning. Perfect distribution. Amazing. Why is she doing this? I don't know. It's beyond comprehension. Now Super Salty Chef A has returned to the ground before the meat. Wow. She's blowing onto the gas stove and creating a pillar of fire. <laughs> By cooking at a high temperature, she's going to trap in the juices. Like high up in the air, you mean? Where did the chicken come from? Stay cooked over the fire of Whoa. Hades. Why is it a T-bone <laughs> really all of a sudden? Forward to this. I can't wait to try it. What are the chicken wings around the steak for? It imitates the beautiful legs of an insect. Iva, are you trying to lose? The aesthetics of food is just as important as flavor. Okay, if you really think so, you do you. That's... My elegant steak meal is complete. It looks good. Our fantastical fantasy Super Chef A has completed her second course. Meanwhile, on the Gen side... Honestly, I really prefer it when the Somniums are like this, where it's just kind of straightforward and, you, and they get to be creative and use the setting in a really fun way, instead of making you play the guessing game, where you're like, oh, is this the right thing to do, you know? I think I would really enjoy the Somniums if, um, if they were harder to lose, maybe, and you could, like, like have fun with the, with the wacky options and not feel like you have to redo the whole thing again. Is that fish? Amame deserves to be free. I want her to be herself. Yes, hmm. free as a fish swimming in the vastness of the ocean blue. Steak versus fish. This could be what breaks this stalemate. Gen's doing fish. Are we gonna be okay? Worry not, my little kitten. You didn't even throw up near anything. See how much training I accomplished. I feel like this persona of yours is getting weirder and weirder every time I talk to you. The time limit is almost upon us. The next dish will be the last. I'm making dessert, of course. The finishing touch will be dessert. Mine will be the best. Right, D, S, A down. A, D, oh crap. Right, I hit the wrong one. Right, A, up, D, S, right, A, D, left, right, S, down. Witness my superior cooking technique. Super Chef A finale. What will she make? It's a dessert. The Super Chef Miracle Whipper. She's whipping like no one I've ever seen before. Whipping is all about the speed. Wow, what's this? She's going so fast it's creating a pillar of light. She's throwing strawberries into the light. The sky is sucking up the strawberries. Wow, what is happening? Super Chef A, queen of all, has been absorbed into the pillar of light. The queen will now challenge the gods themselves. What is going on here? Sephiroth? Chef A 
Sheriff A of the Sky has returned from the heavens. Angel cake? The gods forgiven her hubris? The god Chef A is holding a cake. What? You can't even see the top. By challenging the gods, she created a cake tower of Babel. The most insane dessert mankind has ever seen. <laughs> what's... what's... And Gen's over there with like, yeah, I just made some ice cream. And I'm like, huh, ice cream's pretty good. Like, what, what, what's going up against this? The gods are amazed by this dessert. I think you're taking this way too far. Is this... God cake? Served! How do you even eat this? Now, Ultimate Chef A has completed all her dishes. Can that dessert be defeated? Let's check out Gen's side. Donuts? <laughs> Amame deserves love. It's All right. Forever and always. Donuts are pretty good. Donuts are pretty. This is gonna be close. Hmm. The idea here must be that everyone, young and old, male and female, loves donuts. I remember back in the day, people would line up for hours to get good donuts. This looks promising. Both contestants have finished. Now is the time for judgment. I will judge which three-course meal is the best for me. Oh, yeah, that was the theme. Iba, are we okay? What do you mean? What do you mean? Not, not for you. O objective ranking, please. Objectivity? Ob what, what, what's this? It should be fine. I hope so. Imagine failing in the next round after this. Judgment time. Please judge the shocking superstar Super Chef A's dishes first. There too. This lobster is a work of art. The lobster is cooked perfectly. Th this is this is good. It almost tastes like it's alive. It is. What do you mean by that? It's so good. I can't tell if I'm eating or if I'm being eaten. My senses have inverted from the flavor. That didn't clear it up. It's nice and juicy. This is... this is good! This cake is going to take me to heaven! She literally did that! The sweetness is just right! And the challenger, Gen's cooking. Bibimbap salad? I hate to admit it, but this is pretty good. Yeah, it's good. The fish is perfect. You can mm. taste the freedom in the flavor. The fish is so good, too! Mm. And this donut, you can taste the spirit of it. It's a flavor unlike any other. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Wow, lexicon good. on her. A simple "it's good" is all she had to say. Twelve-hour video on it, please. What are we doing? Because it's good. In any case, who will be decided the winner? This will be tough to judge. Do you think you're gonna win? I hate to say this after all that, but is this even going to uncover Gen's secret? Uh... Let's head to the results, <laughs> please. <clears throat> the winner of this cooking battle is... Wait, did, did we just waste uh, an equals one uh, timey? Oh, no. Super Chef A! Yeah! Deserved. Why? We are Baldur's Gate 3 to, to, to Gen's Final Fantasy 16. Yes. Huh? Gen went into the cage. He locked himself up after being rejected by Amame. So you shouldn't have won? No, the mental lock is unlocked. We are certainly closer to his true heart. Hmm. Gen put all of his passion for Amame into his meals. Let's investigate the dishes. Cooking skill can be improved by repeatedly performing the same action. Command. That was a long sequence. What kind of experience do you need to write a light novel? Write tons of lines, disarming a military base alone. Read tons of books. Talent is everything. But the more you write, the better you are. Yeah, yeah. The longer the video, the better. Such a hassle. Any easier eat? Gens donuts. Eat. Inspect. Huh. Huh. 
we get a half one for inspecting, and it might be the right answer. Let's do it. Assorted donuts. They all look good. With so many different kinds, it could appeal to anyone. Let's try it. No. Gens donuts. Well, it's the same amount of time. Let's try them out. Who eats donuts with a, with a knife and fork? What are you doing? Oh no, my stroller. What am I gonna do with all this stuff? You seem like you could use a hand. Can I help? Oh, thank you. Yes, could you hold my baby for just one second? Did the baby pull the mask off? People avoided me, pushed me away. I was useless in a society like this. Wait. Unneeded. It was like I didn't exist. Or maybe I'm not allowed to exist. Which is why I started living my life in hiding. Amame deserves love forever and always. Gen was ostracized by society and lives a lonely life. Genny. Okay, do we want to talk to Amame? I'd... Let's see what the options are. Amame, do you know what was missing from Genny's dishes? What? Gravy? It appears there was a specific reason Gen lost. Sugar, feelings for Amame, motivation, creativity. I would say creativity is what's missing, right? They were just kind of whatever. I feel like there were feelings for Amami in it. I feel like there was sugar. I feel like he was motivated. I feel like it's creativity. Perhaps it wasn't original. That doesn't matter. Oh, God damn it! All that really matters is... What's the most important thing? What could it be? Don't you want to find out more about Gen? But he's trapped in his cage. What about his dishes? Right. Let's investigate. Maybe it's sugar. In this world, the chef something is inside something. By something, it you something the chef's something throughout the thing. In this world, the chef's feelings memory is inside the food. By tasting it, you experience the chef's memories throughout the meal. Three minutes left. You can do this. Bibimbap salad. Ota said the egg was important. Let's eat the egg. Eat. Eat. Yes, let me taste it. Maybe it's gonna be sugar. I am sure you're well aware, Gim, but you are the result of genetic modification. You were birthed from an egg that had its genome altered in the course of researching eternal life. But this resulted in extreme changes in your bone structure. Your epidermis is also abnormally hard, closer to rock than human skin. You are a failed experiment. Pitiful, really. Imperfect? Sepia, Sepia, I was born into Chikara. this cruel world looking like this. <laughs> but I don't I resent Chikara. Not really. Maybe it's more accurate to say that I've lost all emotion. Happiness, joy, it's all gone gray. This is just my reality. Oh, this is Sepia. It's how I live every single day. I want a mommy to feel comfortable expressing herself, to show the range of her emotions. Hmm. That's terrible. Shakara Horidori is an awful man. Maybe it is going to be feelings for a mommy then. He was motivated to make her feel feel well, but maybe not his own feelings. Not sure. This is Gen's fish course. Eat. I will try it. Do I like dry cereal? No, I don't think so. Not really. I don't eat cereal anymore. Hey, what are you looking at? N nothing. What's with that mask? Why don't you show us your face? Monster! What the hell is with this guy? He's a total freak! I didn't do anything. Fuck! 
Fuck off! You'd be better off dead, freak! Whoa! When I was young, there was this kid bullying me. I pushed him and ended up breaking his bones. We were both expelled. It's like everyone says. I am a monster. If I stand up for myself, people get hurt. So I just took everything I got. All the judgment, the teasing, the beatings. Omame deserves to be free. I want her to be herself. Okay, now do we go back to Amame or do we go and talk to, uh, to Gen? Talk. Huh. Let's talk to him. Hey, Gen! You are surrounded. Come out right now. It's not gonna work, is it? It said something about how you can't Your talk to him. Your mother is crying over you. Listen to her, please. Gen! Gen, please! Come out! Quit messing around. You were in on it too. Oh, Gen self love. Yeah, that, that definitely was missing. Self love? Yes. I appreciate the way you care about me, but. You can't keep hiding your heart in a cage, Genny. I want you to escape that cage. I was useless in a society like this. Unneeded. Do you think I think the same way? If I stand up for myself, people get hurt. So I just took everything I got. All the judgment, the teasing, the beatings. Gotta say, not a bad message. Also very true, IMO. Um, like... He's, he's obviously not had a very good life, and, and he's found a lot of comfort and solace in, in loving Amame. Maybe not romantically, although it might be romantically. But loving someone else is, is never, like, a, a good enough, um, like, supplementation for loving yourself. Like, you're not gonna find, like, like true, like, long-lasting happiness, like, loving someone else without loving yourself. So not a bad message, actually. I like it. It's like everyone says, I am a monster. I never once thought you were a monster, Genny. Aren't you afraid? Not at all. Aren't I disgusting? No, I think you're charming, if anything. And I know that your heart is more pure than anyone else. I want you to love yourself more. Do it for me. But I... And for... That's why I love you, Gen. That warm heart of yours, too. The way you look. All of it. Omame. Oh, I know. Omame never feared me. I do have a place. There are people out there who need me. Not many, but it's enough. My place is here all right that's great what was on the piece of paper let's I go i wanted to eat your cooking genny i remember now i remember her saying it before yeah okay then frog meat again nope this is alligator it's really good <laughs> thank you freed gen's heart I'm glad. I'm really happy. Now let's go back. You idiot. We haven't found any clues yet. Here you go. What? This is on the house. Oh, thank you. Hmm? It looks like normal omelet rice. Eat. Throw away. Oh no. Hold on. If we throw it away... It might take us to the garbage. We're at the garbage, we open it up and we find the note that he threw away. But eating it feels like we're gonna bite into it and find the note inside and it's gonna, like, it's gotta be E, right? Like, after all the cooking thing, it's gotta be, it's gotta be E. It's gotta be. Well then, let's eat. I 
alligator meat is surprisingly easy to eat. Huh? What happened? That's... The Death Note? Weird how he stood there and popped it after, uh, you know, inflating it and putting it there himself. Delightfully devilish. Holy shit. Okay. The paper! That means Gen did have it. Ho Street? <laughs> yes! Now we can go back! Maybe we have to go to uh, number Miss. three, Ho Street. It's a three-ho problem. Thank you. You're welcome. I won't lose next time. Apologies, but you can face Ota next time. I do not want to go through more training. Oof. Another one-shot Somnium. Nice. You're like a mix of Pat and, and Wooly. Is that a good thing? Left behind. Where's Genny? Abnormal activity was detected in his brain after the sink. You walked it's out. It's not anything serious, but Pewter decided to take him to the medical office as a precaution. Gen's brain is atypical. The nano cables may not have been connected properly. Nano is he okay? Like I said, nothing serious. Nano cables. It's not life threatening, and there shouldn't be any side effects. Okay, if you say so. Man, I was short, huh? But I wanted to ask any tons of things about Chikara and why he lied. I am curious about that too, but we should hold off until later. Yeah, before we do anything, let's solve Terror's annoying little puzzle. Right, we got our third clue in the Somnium. The pieces of paper in the balloons. One said one, and on the other side, host. The one at Ion said two, and Unra. And? The one at Ikume Shrine said three and Indig, right? Yeah. What are these signifying? Hmm. Well, if we line up the letters... Indigo, underwear, hostess? That's way too many letters. Nope, that's it. Where are you getting this from? That's that's what it is. Nope, oh, that's it. I know. I know you don't know, so don't say anything. You were probably about to say something even worse. Okay, Iba. You tell us then. Could you two please take this seriously? The letters on the pieces of paper. What do they signify? I, I don't know. It was host, unra, indig. All right, so it's ing, uh, ghost, go, ghost, ghost rain, ghost, uh, unghost rain, ghost rainin, be, be koi, be koi, ah, uh, ah, uh, is it sf? Ah, uh, there you go. How, how could it not be that? It fits. It fit. I really don't get it. Don't give up. Think harder. Okay, that was number one. And then Unro was two. And then it was INDG, right? Host. And then uh, IN. Horin. <laughs> Horin Stratic. <laughs> All right, I don't, I actually don't know the answer. I maybe I should uh, maybe I should write it out so I don't I so I um can look at it without having to retype it out every single time that I want to guess. Okay, so they were they were split into twos, into dominoes, and I'm guessing the dominoes have to be arranged in some way. I don't think you have to unscramble it all. But what's what's the one there for? D are their numbers irrelevant? Is the one means that we can have like like that one goes first? 
I'm pretty bad at anagrams, chat. What what word could end in DG? I don't think there is. Is there a word that ends in DG? So that can't be last, right? Stun, stunning, no. Is it one word or two? I feel like if I get another wrong answer, she's gonna she's gonna give me help. I don't want help unless I really need it. Let me stare at it for a while longer. Maybe on maybe I'm on the wrong the wrong um, line of thought, thinking that I have to um, keep the the two together. Maybe you do have to uh, scramble the whole thing. No, I'm not seeing a chat. Sorry, I was trying to scramble them within within the four and see like that that be, that can become shot and then that's like I don't know what the hell that could become. But this is nothing. There's nothing here. And I was like, what what could come after or before the DG? The whatchamacallit, the dominoes of le letters don't have to stay together. Maybe you just have to unscramble the whole thing. I don't... What's the numbers for? One, two, and three. That's weird. Why are they there? All right. If we assume that it's 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 INGs at the end, we can get rid of the D. Strand. No. All right. I, I don't know. Give me a clue. Hey, what if it was like this? There were three numbers on the pieces of paper, correct? Yeah. Line them up top to bottom. Okay. And remember, these are not the only pieces of paper we found. What? Uh, what are the people? Wait, 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 there's, there's another clue. There is another. Oh, there, there is. Is there? Are you talking about the one at Yuyagi Park? Exactly that. Oh, I thought that was for that puzzle. What happens if you consider what that piece was telling you? Uh, I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> This one goes there? Oh, I get it. Do you? Can you tell me? So, host points to Ra, and then points to I-N. So, H-O-R-A-I-N. Horain, and then S-T points to Un, which points to, points to D-G. D-G. All right, so it's Horainstegund. Here we go. Hora inst undid. What? Horadori Institute underground. Precisely. Under Horadori Institute of Genetics. I was stunned that worked. I really thought it was going to tell me you're a dumbass. <laughs> what? All right, cool. He's thinking, oh, sorry, not, nothing learned in this time can be used as evidence, uh, as it should be. So I've been, I headed to the Horadori Institute of Genetics. No warrant. We're not letting you in without a warrant. And as expected, we got shooed away. But then I gave the security guard a hard knock right hook and crushed his jaw. And then everything here can be used as evidence now. No, I didn't. I thought about what boss told me. If you cause me one more headache, I'm cutting your pay. I put my metal pipe away. Looks like we got to do things the hard, peaceful way. I looked around the building for any way to get in. And about halfway around the building. A back door. But it was locked, and it looked like there was an alarm on the door. That's when. Oh, we're going through the back door? Tama would have loved this. Well, well, well. I never thought the police would be calling on my skills. Thank you for your help. Nah, don't thank me. I'm just doing this for old time's sake. I was wondering, though. Where is this underground room? Wait, hold on. Whoa, 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 oh, whoa, whoa, right. whoa. Pot, pot. Terrorist no, I want off wild ride. The whoa, the hold the fucking on. Right? But I've never seen anything there. Huh. I mean, I heard people talking about it. I heard this one lab guy there say, Hey, this lab that we're in, this is a huge space. There might be some hidden passageway or something. But it's not like they knew for sure or anything. A hidden passageway. You're gonna look for it, right? I'll help. I already bought this ticket. Might as well take the ride. Thank you. I knew my Tamagotchi was up. How do you want to meet someone? Run into on the corner, transfer students in next to you. I mean transfer student. Teachers call for a battle royale. Teacher, now all of you will engage in a battle royale. Burdock, Taro, watch out. Taro, huh? Okay, this... Are we on a new day? No. What's going on? He, he, this, this is when he was called, uh, by the police to break into the Horidori Institute six years ago. What the fuck's going on here? How, how is this possible? What Tom fuckery is going on? Are they, are they, are they flipping every, every day? They flip between six years and they don't even know? 
and they're just conveniently not talking about it what's what's going on is it just a coincidence that he's doing the exact same thing again on this timeline okay well i'm not gonna be able to get it but like like what i ooh, something weird's going on here it's Leon. he's looking for a hidden passage hey remember what we were talking about at the kumakura office you said there were a bunch of rumors about chikara yeah some shady human experiments are being done here something about dna manipulation and gene therapy i don't know exactly i hear they modified the dna of embryos and gave birth to a bunch of genetic experiments all for the goal of eternal life chikara was in charge of everything he had a close circle of trusted associates that ran the experiments i don't know exactly how it happened but eventually word of these experiments started to spread to the outside world and that's what caused the facilities to close and that's when chikara ran and went missing but they never proved anything in court the building had already been demolished all the evidence toast so a year later chikara could just rebuild the whole thing he named it Horidori Institute of Genetics and started all over again. Crap, a lookout! Hide! Who's there? Oh shit! <laughs> Wasn't there more to talk this? to Leon about? <laughs> Nerve gas. <laughs> uh oh. Well, this didn't go well. What? What, this? I got it in Bali. It says, Danger Zone. Cool, huh? Oh, there was a QT. I'm sorry, I missed it completely. This isn't going to be easy to find. Huh. Reminds me of my glory days, huh? It really takes me back. Less talking, more looking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what time is it right now? It is 23.45. Hmm. Told me okay, the time. we've got 15 minutes to find it then. Why? At midnight, the new shift of guards comes in. That's their patrol schedule. Nah, I don't think so. But they're doing something creepy. Creepy? There's some virus called the TC Purge. I'm not a doctor. I don't really know how it works, but if it gets inside you, it messes with your brain. It makes you hallucinate and think crazy things. And it spreads in the air. We all have if it. This virus gets out somehow. The human race is in for a rough trip. No. No. Has it already? No. 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 Can you picture it? The whole world going crazy. People everywhere doing it. The unpredictable things. The crazy things. Over and over. All right, where's the QT? Enter. What? How did I miss that? Was I staring Ooh, in chat? They're gone. I don't even remember the ticking. Another one. Okay, I don't. I don't know what to do. Okay, the coast is clear. Nice. Jeez, another one. Okay, there was a. There was a, a green one there. Down. Gotta say, I'm pretty pumped right now. Kanji? What what am I looking for? Like a button or something? Oh come on! <sighs> okay, let's This is a journal or research log. One of the researchers must have left it. But it's locked, right? Indeed. In that case. Break it open. What's this? I found it earlier, but it's locked. Okay, let me see. I hope he just rips it off. Huh, <laughs> easy. Got it open. Leon handed it back to me and I opened it up. Like I thought, it was a journal kept by one of the researchers. The first part was mostly complaining about the bosses, based. Then there was a section about which of the girls working there were the hottest. Eh, it's a private. Mo Mo Mocha won, by the way. None of that interested me, so I flipped through the pages. Halfway through, I found a disturbing entry. I've heard tons of rumors regarding Chikara Horidori, ever since I started here. He locks the place up every night by himself. And then, he gets up to something. 
Could he be tampering with the experimental data? Could he be licking Momoka's keyboard and chair? <laughs> Ew! That would be like we were indirectly kissing! Screw that pervert! What, because you're looking at two? That's when I got the idea to leave my phone behind one night and record everything. The next morning, I checked the video, but Chikara wasn't on it. Actually, the only thing I recorded was some strange sound that kept repeating. The melody went something like this. Fa mi mi re ti la mi so. What could that be? Fa mi mi re ti la mi so? Those must be the notes of the recorded sound. Hmm. This alone does not help us. Can you come over here? There's a piano on the back of this. What's going on? It looked like the ankle on this statue moved. So I tried turning it around. And I found these buttons. Oh no. Is this a keypad for a pin code? But there are only seven buttons. Oh no. I tried pressing all seven buttons in order. When I pressed it, it would make a note. And then... I see. Each button plays a different note. Uh, I, I don't I don't know how to distinguish this chat. I, I'm not going to be able to do this. Like... <laughs> Like I like not even a little bit am I gonna be able to be able to do this? Like like no. It was all over the place. I don't think that was in order. In any case, the sequence we must enter is obvious. Go ahead, Mizuki. Oh. That just from the recording. There it is. Lian, look, the hidden passage. Shh, not so loud. You'll hear us. Guess it's more like a staircase than a passageway. I mean, technically, it's a passageway. This below ground area is covered in tungsten. That is why the x ray did not reveal anything. Oh, convenient. Right. Let's get moving. Tungsten also resists morbing. Man, who are you gonna somnium now? Leon? It's locked. Yes, this is where I come in. Half might. Yeah, it's open. Amazing, Leon! I said don't be so loud. Leon. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, let's go in. What in the Resident Evil is this? Uh-oh. This is... The Expensive Spirit, Mizuki Chapter 3. Creepy, creepy Chikara. <laughs> Oh. What is this? It's just a room. I don't see anything at first glance, but something is up. No, we're down. We should search this place. Okay. Huh? What is it? I thought I heard something. Leon, did you hear anything? No, nothing. I think you're just hearing things. Besides you two, I detect no biological life here. But the tungsten. I did not detect anything on the stairs either. Tungsten. Okay. Guess it's fine then. Mm, that was weird. Sorry for spooking you. Let's search the room. Yes. Let us do the usual routine. VR? Oh, Leon isn't here anymore. Remember what I have explained previously. In this space, objects and individuals that are irrelevant are excluded from the recreation. But even though I can't see him now, he's still in the room, in reality. Correct. This is such Just a weird area. system. Let us leave Leon alone for now. Focus on the investigation at hand. Got it. Why is the floor different? Because it's not because it's not relevant. Weren't you listening? She just knows what's relevant and what's not. Duh. Where is the Mecca of Otaku's? Akihabara. 
Sunfish Pockety. Was that here? I didn't see that before. It's a power switch. It was on when we came in. Is it a light switch? It looks a little big to be a light switch. Perhaps it powers the entire room. Could be. Mizuki, there is a power line that leads to it from above. Follow the x-ray. The power switch using x-ray, you can see the power cables running to the ceiling. Does it activate the walls that are going to crush us all when, when we turn it on? It's a vent. I wonder if the air is being ventilated properly. It's stale in here. We are underground. The airflow is likely quite poor. Mm -hmm. No, that's not it. I feel it. I don't know how to explain it, but there's bad air down here. There's an iron plate above the door. What's that doing here? Perhaps some sort of shutter. If that plate came down, the door would not be able to be opened. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe this is a, a morbing room. It makes you have enough danger to force a morb. Exhaust ducts stretch from wall to wall. This is the direction we came from. Poor ducks. So there must be something past this wall too. Some kind of space that would need air to be exhausted. A room? For what? Greetings. First, I must make something clear. This is a recording. In front of you is a vent and a power switch. The first one of you to pull the- it's just- it's just fucking ZTD again. I see some blood stains. It appears that much time has passed. Years, at least. And footprints in the blood. Years? It's so dark, it's hard to see. It's a tooth. I can see it. It's a tooth. Wait, hold on. Who was the one that had one of their- the one of their teeth removed? Was it Jin? Was it Shikara? Someone had a tooth removed. What the fuck is this? Like a tooth grinder? What? Wait, was this like food delivery? What? There's a door on the other side of the plate. And perhaps a hidden secret beyond it. Is this a tooth? It is the first molar of the upper jaw. It does not appear as though it was pulled out with any instruments. There are no marks on the tooth's enamel. Then how? Perhaps the owner of this tooth was punched in the face. Whose tooth is it? Unknown. Let us call this person T for now. T for tooth, of course. Yeah, of course. Someone's someone's T's tooth on the floor. It appears to be the first molar of the maxilla. Maybe it has a, a metallic cavity in it, and it was a really strong magnet that pulled it out. A power switch and an electrical line leading away from it. The line splits in two. Let's follow both. So that one follows, that one leads outside of the room. This one goes down here. The power line in the ceiling leads to the other side of this wall. And if you follow it further, there is something in this wall. Is it a switch? Yeah, by pressing this part here, it turns on. A hidden switch. What happens if I press it? Dude, press it. Looks it looks as though it powers a different area. Press it. Press the switch. There's a square hole here. The square hole! It is a foot switch. Similar to those used at hospitals to open emergency uh, doors. You can use your foot to trip the switch, leaving your hands free. Uh-oh. But it does not appear to be powered currently. If I want to use this switch, I've got to feed it some power first. And one more thing. There are footprints around the switch as well. The same prints from the bloodstains. These prints are also old. Likely many years. Okay, so. Okay, this doesn't deserve a camera bit. Hmm. We have collected all the ingredients. <sighs> ingredients for what? You don't know? Judging by the clues, something occurred in this space many years ago. Someone, let's call them X, came to this room and did something. If we can follow what X did, we can discover new information. Huh. Anyway, just answer my questions. Okay, sure. Let us begin. What do you think X did first when they came to this room? Turn the light on. When we came here, the power was already on. But it's probably not always like that. An astute assumption. We need to restore power to the entire room first. We will not be able to proceed without it. And next is... What did X do after turning on the power? I don't know. Came over here? 
press this button? I am positive. There are no bloody footprints under the switch. Therefore, someone, most likely T, was not yet bleeding when the switch was pressed. Maybe this is a dumb question, but how do you know the switch was pressed? Because of how the foot switch is wired. There are two power lines within the tube. Electricity comes from here and then goes back up the ceiling and ultimately terminates in the foot switch. We can leave the foot switch be for now. Let us move on to the next step. Man, Ivan knows everything. After pressing the hidden switch, what do you think X did next? The f the f lick the blood went through the hole. Punch T. Uh, punch T. Yes, I agree. When T got their tooth knocked out, they started bleeding. That's what caused the puddle of blood. Right. Then X stepped in the puddle, causing the prints. What if X and T are the same person? The finishing touches. It goes without saying what X did last. He pulled out his phone. Correct. There are bloody footprints near the switch. It is clear that X came here after T started bleeding. Power is sent here by turning the hidden switch on. Therefore, if you were to trip the switch with your foot... And now we know what X did. Prepare the reenactment! Ugh, this again? Creature report. Um, Creature report. Okay, here we go. I didn't say yes. Creature report. The camera is rolling. Do, do, do. Ready? Action! My name is Mr. X. I came here for a certain reason. Yes, yes! Keep that energy up. What did X do first? First, I need to turn on the power. And then, do this to the hidden button. And so, the foot switch should have power now. Stop, Mizuki. You forgot something. Oh, right. I need to punch T. Though, I still don't know exactly why. Anyway... Gotta punch something. Yes, and then X must have stepped in the puddle of blood. And lastly... Would there be a puddle of blood after knocking a tooth out like that? Like, immediately? Like, I don't think there would be that much blood right away. Now. I don't know what, but... Something. Let us leave the VR world behind and do this in the real world. Yeah. Yeah. Even though I still don't get why you had to record that, I think I get the picture. To laugh at it later, obviously. After following my steps from VR, I put my foot on the switch. And then... You know, I had a tooth knocked out. I've had a couple teeth removed. I had I had four teeth removed because uh, of to make room for wisdom teeth. Um, and then I had one tooth removed because it was bad um, a while back, ten years ago, because I couldn't get, afford to get it fixed. It can't be. What is this? <laughs> and there wasn't that much blood, but that was like removed. Mizuki, what did you do? I guess what you did doesn't really matter. It's the corpse. It's Tokiko Shigure, from Nice Japan. Her left half. What is she doing here? But how should I know? Weren't you the one who made her show up? I mean, I guess. Blood. Blood stains. Looks like some old and some new. Correct. These stains also must have come from multiple sources. It is safe to say that one source is Tokiko. I cannot yet tell who the other sources were. That will require a thorough inspection. This does solve one big mystery. What? Does it? All of the victims of the HB case were cut at the molecular level. Those cuts were likely performed by this machine. So this is some kind of slicer? Exactly. No, it's a terror. Do you see that wire on top of the machine? That is CNT, 
a braided carbon nanotube. The diameter is about 0 0.4 nanometers. C a single nanometer is one billionth of one meter, so it is not visible to the naked eye. But I can see it. That is because I am modifying your vision. I am emphasizing it on purpose for your benefit. So you're saying that carbon nanotube was used to bisect all the victims? That is highly probable. It's just a theory. So all the murders took place? Here, most likely. Including Tokiko. But why are there two machines? Well, unknown. You put one person in here and one person in here and then half half and then they combine the, the two different halves and make a new person hooray like but but why <laughs> what for why thank you personal sheep for the resub thank you, thank you very much uh, personal sheep thank you thank you i'm freaking out after all this i'm on the brink here the omelet rice I ate yesterday is already up in my throat. That's the door that was being covered by the iron plate. You're not gonna open that, are you? Half yeah. you, half you, Chikara. But we gotta look around more first. <laughs> That's good. The door we came from is covered up. Hey, what are we gonna do? How are we getting out? Can't you open it, Leon? Of course I can't. There's no lock to pick on this. Ah. Uh. Too bad. What? Are we gonna die here? No, 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 no. I haven't married my Kizzy yet. Does he think getting out of here will improve his odds? Yeah, he's right too. Her estimated time of death is 1900 yesterday. Yesterday meaning the 12th. It is currently 1 a.m. on the 13th. Interesting. So roughly six hours ago. Hmm, but why? Ooh. 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 Hold on. What do you mean? Okay. Whatever. Whatever. You know what? Whatever. Whatever. Mizuki, look at her wrist. Slit wrists. I do not believe this was self-inflicted. The cut is deep. But there are scars as well. Perhaps she did try to take her own life in the past. Mizuki, what are we gonna do with the body? Mila is very upset. Can't just leave her, but I need to see what's on the other side of that door first. We called for backup or whatever, right? You're I really do you have reception? Go? Yeah, why? What if the murderer is in there? Terror? All the more reason to go. Wow. You're really courageous. You're younger than me, but I respect you. Leon, you should wait here. What? If that iron plate drops down, I might get trapped again. Oh, right. Okay. Wait, you're just gonna leave the two of us here? One and a half. half of you, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, gotta get going. If I get trapped, help me out, okay? Yeah, I got it. What is this? Uh oh. What is this place? A bed, refrigerator, shower, toilet? <laughs> Don't Someone you recognize it, Mizuki? More like confined here. Look at the door you came in from. Gonna gonna reuse that weight uh, bench there press is no animation. Handle. It cannot be opened from this side. Good thing Leon is on the other side. Yeah, good thing. If we were all trapped in here together. Within a week, Leon would have become a rabid animal, and then... Ha! If that happened, I would have beaten him to death. Anyway, we should search the room. Non-functioning PC. A PC, I tried messing with it, but something happened. Tons of paper stuck to the wall. A text on them looks practically random. It'll take a while to decode this mess. A bed. Training equipment. That's the only vent. It is safe to assume the average human could not enter or exit through there. Average. Punching bag. Toilet. Oh no. You've seen this before? Of course. 
How could I forget? This is what caused my left eye. And Kizzy. It is a thermite bomb. Six years ago, a thermite reaction caused Jin Furloway's right half to burn. I know. I read the report. Basically, a miniature version of this was set in the body, right? Correct. Okay, I don't think we can get up there. Shitty looking computer. Iva, can you take a look? On it. Password. Internal data has been analyzed. Mizuki, take a look at this. Is this? It is the Nirvana trial video. There are backups and working files on this computer as well. It seems as though that video was produced here. And one more thing. There was some unedited QR footage as well. That means... Yes. What cliche line do you want to say? If good news and bad news... I'm, get I'm getting married after the war. I'll do it too. -y. What is this? I've been here for ages. I'm trapped here, suffering. It's all their fault. They took so much from me, they used my creation without permission. And I'll never forgive them for it, just writing about it makes me furious. Angry, angry Chikara. I want to kill them. It's a diary. There aren't daily entries, but it seems like the person who lived here wrote it. There might be some clues to the case. Let's keep reading. Unlike them, Mom is really nice. She's taught me a lot of things. Nice is wonderful. This world is a lie. These things happening to me are a lie. Mom said that she's going to tell the truth to everyone. I want to help Mom. I love Mom. But... Why are you nice to him, Mom? I hate him. He needs to pay. It continues. There is a date here. This is from six years ago. February 9th. He came this morning. I thought he was here to mock me. He always picks on me. But he said that's not why he was here. He wanted to apologize. I'm so sorry for everything I've done. I've heard him say it a million times. Things turned red all of a sudden. Next thing I knew, he was on the ground. I think I hit him. He was bleeding from the mouth and unconscious. This is Jen? I thought this was my chance. Eh, probably not. Again. He basically taught me everything. I took the machine out, set the body in. To be split in half alive. This description. It is similar to what we reenacted earlier in the room next door. So the person writing in this diary was X. And he is probably T. He got his tooth knocked out. As I looked at his dead body, I thought to myself, if I use this, I can help mom. I've been planning this for a long time, but when I saw that body, the light came on. The intersection between the warp and weft, that's where the scene can occur. By creating that, the people of this world, Moksha. Man, it would be better if this was voiced, huh? February 10th. Early morning, I went to go see mom. I told her about my plan. She agreed. She even said I can use her money. This has got to work. Ah, mom, you're so kind. The Nirvana Initiative. I'm going to make it a reality. I decided to proceed with the plan. I thought of a new name for myself. My name is Terror. I will start my new life with this name, I think. 2 of 10 continued. How ironic. The one thing I needed was being created in this very facility. TC Purge. Such a wonderful virus. But I was told it was still imperfect. More time was needed. No need to be rash. I decided to wait with mom. Fortunately, there are tons of nice members among the researchers. When I told them about the plan, they happily obliged. I can't wait. This is going to be so much fun. February 11th. 3 of 10. Someone interfered. I put it there, but it was gone. Insufferable ingrate. Uh-oh. No mercy, 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 no mercy. I'm already Tracer. I'll find you and I'll kill you. So this is, uh, Shoma's dad found it? February 12th. I found you. Filthy thief. Itchy tasty. February 13th. I cut the thief in half and then set it up. Your fault. Didn't give it back. The undoing is done. I can finally relax. February 13th. The thief cut in half. 
The thief must be. Two thirteen continued. Oh man, there's eleven more of these. I met the person what? of my destiny. What? The person of my destiny. The diary ends on two thirteen. It's all from six years ago. So the diary ends there. Hmm. Anyway, we now understand. The person that was being held here is the culprit of the HB case. Terror. If we wait here, will they come back? I do not believe they will. Once they reach the stairs, they will know someone intruded. And they'll try to get rid of said intruders. If they did, a certain someone would be gotten rid of first. Can you imagine the monitor burn in on this thing? Holy crap. Leon! We need to get back there now! Why are we going back to Abyss? Leon's unconscious, so we just put him in the Somnium. Just, just, just popped him into the Somnium machine. See what happens. How could you, Mizuki? About last night. Sorry, but I don't want to get involved. I'm going home. Leon left Horidori Institute. I waited at the Institute until the investigation crew came. When they got here, I continued to investigate the place. Why is she mad? Wow, you really outdid yourself, sneaking in without a warrant. Ugh. Um, I'm sorry, boss. Aiba, you need to keep an eye on her. I am functioning <laughs> just fine as Mizuki's left eye. I should be rewarded for the work I did last night. Yeah, I wouldn't have found that room without Aiba. <sighs> true. What you found was worth bending the rules a little. That's true, but, but I'm gonna need to three more half corpses you know? before. Boss, I suggest leniency. Mizuki had a strong personal reason for wanting to search Horidori Institute. The gene therapy? Boss, you knew? Who do you think I am? I know my subordinates so well, I could tell you how many moles they have from memory. So, did you know that Daddy and Mom weren't my real parents? Yeah. Hmm? What is it? You never told? Oh, what? I was just... That might have been important last case, something love. Mom told me once. What? You! I wish I you had you never had been, been born. born! I was thinking about that. Do you think she meant to say I wish we never adopted you? <laughs> what she meant to say? Oh, okay. That, that was clean. Very clean. Super clean. Okay, I'll give you the rundown. Six years ago, after the incident at the cathedral, the armed vigilantes scurried under whatever rocks they could find across the country. Their group was forced underground. It is thought that they are still active, despite our investigations yielding little results. And of course, we interrogated everyone we caught as hard as we legally could. We got a search warrant for Nice, looked through all their documents. But we could not find any incriminating evidence. That's why Nyes is still kicking today. They are as cunning as they are ruthless. Don't you hate it how at beauty salons they make you sit in front of the mirror after getting your head shampooed? <laughs> what? Why would you even think to include that? Terror's diary. I read it too. There's a ton we can get from it. But the most intriguing thing is the Nirvana Initiative. How are the HB case and that plan related? There is still much we do not understand. We do not know who Terror is and why they were imprisoned there. Ah, right. Regarding the blood around the slicer, we tested it for DNA matches. Jin Furaway. Chikara Horidori, Yonaharu Enda, aka Andy's Komeji, Tokiko Shigure, and one more. One more? Yeah, five different DNA. But we don't know who the fifth person was, which means there might be another yet undiscovered victim. Oh no. Anyway, I'm gonna go do some investigating. Wait, you haven't gotten any sleep. You should rest first. Yeah, I, I'm You're feeling that, kidding, man. Aren't you? That look in your eyes is telling me to keep fighting through it. <laughs> you know me very well, Mizuki. Oh, man. Where do you plan to go? Well, let's see. I think I want to start by talking to Lian. Maybe there was something he noticed that I overlooked. And next, Shoma. I haven't been able to ask him about the one-wheeled robot yet. And then Mame. I think Mame knows something about the Nirvana Initiative. 
I'm getting a feeling that this is connected to something bigger. Nirvana Initiative. Understood. I have confirmed their locations. Lian is at Iowen, Shoma is at home, and Amame is at Brahmin. I want to gather more information too. I've got to go to Lemnisgate, Devita, and Marble. Understood. Let's get going. Don't push yourself too hard, Mizuki. Sir, yes, sir. Understood. Well, we're not blood related either. She's adopted? Yeah, but we get along well. That's nice. I'm kind of jealous. Some families run deeper than blood. Yeah, I know. But I didn't even get along. You have other relationships, right? Mizuki, you do have a lot of friends. And most importantly, a boss who's reliable and kind. Kind? I am kind. If an elderly woman was trying to cross the street, I'd stop cars for her. You could also carry her. Thanks, you too. Uh, I like, uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, <laughs> All right, Shoma's back. Let's go see Shoma. Katatsu's during the winter are the best. I don't know anyone who would use them during the summer. Uh, hey, Mizuki. I would. Barge into my place. I was. What is the foot? It was exactly the same. What? It's nothing. I wanted to ask something. Do you have time right now? Do, do you experience time? Here? It's the Katatsu's fault for being here. Katatsu, bad girl. I'm still not over it, you know. I'll show them justice. Shoma. Uh oh. Can't you tell? I can't tell by looking, which is why I'm asking. Sometimes I talk to you thinking you're down, but you're doing well. Other times I think you're in a good mood, but you're not. Well, I'm normal. I'm not, like, having fun or anything. That's the Shoma I know. What? <laughs> you're weird. Yeah, of course I know. Because, uh, I used to be a member. What? It was a while back. I'm not with them anymore. But you know about Nyes pretty well then. I guess so. I know about their philosophy. That I don't know too well. I know the Nirvana trial, the video. Oh, this? After coming back from camping, I found that the one I made earlier was missing. Uh-oh. So I'm making a new one. Did you report it? It went missing. Was it stolen? No, just missing. I don't know, but it's not like it's gonna move on its own. So I'm guessing it was taken. I don't know who would go through the trouble. How many people knew about the robot? Only people close to me. Ah, well, I did show that Ryuki guy when he came to question me. Ryuki? Ooh. It does not seem like Shoma is lying. He most likely has no idea that the robot was used at the stadium. Ooh. It's a change of pace. I don't have good memories of this season. Or a fish. I came back, and there was a ton of commotion with what happened. Is that why you're here, Mizuki? I guess you could say that. Aiba, have you noticed anything off with Shoma? I do not believe he is lying about anything, and his appearance does not tell me anything. D d d it doesn't? It doesn't? It's good that he wasn't caught up in all this mess. But why was Shoma's robot used to carry Jin's left half? It wasn't. That is still unknown. Different robot. We still don't know if it actually was his robot, right? Yeah, exactly. True, but... Hey, Mizuki, can I ask you a question? Why'd you look older, Six Mizuki? Six years ago, Jin Furaway's <sighs> right half went up in flames out of nowhere, right? Did you ever find out how it was done? Oh, well, the body had a small thermite bomb inside it. It was set up so the bomb detonated on a timer. I see. Why do you ask? No reason. Just wanted some Aren't credit. Aren't you on the clock right now? You're gonna get scolded if your boss finds out. Ugh. Shoma is right. You need to work like a breeding horse to keep boss off your back. What? What? You need to work like a draft horse. 
I thought I heard something else. Oh, I see you. Okay, let's just go top to bottom. Where is Leon? I see him. He's right there. Oh, there he is. Hey, Mizuki. Something is wrong. Lean huh? on me. Yeah, not strong. You do not have to worry about it. I can do this on my own. Sorry, Kizzy. I didn't mean to upset you. I'll head home. But if there's anything you need, just call me, okay? I'll fly right over. Are you pitying me? What? On that day six years ago, I became disabled. I used to love dancing, but I can never dance again. You apologized so many times. You said you were sorry you couldn't protect me. That must be why you stay by my side. I have burdened you with that guilt. Am I right, Leon? No. Kizzy, I... Believe him. Ugh. What are you doing? Putting an end to this. Kizzy, you're being dumb. <sighs> Leon, you are Mizuki. dumb. Big sis. Let's go dig it up. I apologize. I wish you hadn't seen that. Kizzy... She must have been through hell. She was only putting up a facade. Facade. The signs were there during the wink sink the other day. Flashback, please. Those repressed emotions must have finally boiled over. Flashback, please. Nah, I don't know what you're talking about. I need a flashback. Oh, I uh, made Kizzy upset. She said that I'm only with her because I feel guilty. I told her that's not true, but I guess words aren't enough. Tell her through dance. Mizuki, have you forgotten why we are here? We are here to ask Lian about yesterday. That can wait. I can't just leave these two like this. I want to see them get along. How? Well... It is hard to fix what has been broken. The arrow of time only moves in one direction. No. Nope. Wait, what did you say? The arrow of time? That's it! The time capsule from six years ago! If we could dig that up... Huh? Mizuki? Where are you going? I think it was around here somewhere. When you think of Akiba, what do you think of? Nothing. Odin can. You understand, E. We're having dinner together, E. I became an adult, E. Thank you. Okay. There it is! Indeed. Lian! Can you go grab a shovel? Well, that was out of nowhere. You gonna bury a dead body or something? No, I'm going to dig something up. A dead body? Yeah. No! Yeah, the no. time capsule! The time... Capsule? How did you forget? <sighs> the shoes are still in good condition. The letters, too. Why don't you read it? Uh, right now? Do you want to bury it for another six years? <sighs> okay, then. I... Dear loser. What's wrong? This is kind of embarrassing. Don't know how to Just read. Just do it. To Kizzy. I love you, Kizzy. I really, 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 really love you. When I first saw you, I seriously thought an angel descended from heaven. I was thunderstruck. At that moment, I decided to devote my life to you. What, what, what is this Elcor reading right now? The glass slippers that I put in the capsule are a symbol of my never-ending love for you. To me, six years in the future. I'll never forgive you if you make Kizzy cry. I'm gonna fly to you and punch your stupid face. Whatever happens, always be by her side. When she's struggling or in pain, support her with everything you got. Even if your feelings aren't reciprocated, make sure she's always smiling. Make sure you dedicate your life to her happiness. That is my request to you. Whoa. You're up next, Kizzy. Here. But, but. No buts. Read. Fine. To me, six years from now. I know we I don't like Leon right now. Him. I still do not know exactly how to feel about there him. There we go. But no matter how I might feel in the future, the most important thing is to be true to yourself. It is not becoming of me to play games with a man's heart. If you think no, you need to tell him no. It would be better for him. But if you do have feelings for him... I'm sorry, Leon. Sorry? Is that a rejection? 
No, I meant about earlier. I took out my frustration on you. What, 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 what the fuck? I should not be placing my anger on people I care about. If it is acceptable to you, if you do not mind that I am the way I am, Lian, will you? She's like the doctor from Arrested Development. Kizzy, it's like I said before. Six years have gone by, but my feelings haven't changed. My love is eternally undying. I myself have changed. <laughs> what do you mean? I my too was unable to shoot my wife. Years. Leon, I... I love you. You are my Prince Charming. Kizzy? Kizzy? Alright, Leon. Alright. Prank paid off. Finger guns out of here. Yeah, Leon always convinces them. Later, sucker. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> this doesn't feel real at all. <laughs> Mizuki, why are you here anyway? Oh, right. I asked Leon if I had overlooked anything from last night. He quickly told me that I hadn't. So this was the whole Why point. Why did we even come here? All right. It's fine. We made them happy. What's more heartwarming, this or Jumpy and Akane? I think this because Akane does not deserve Jumpy on any level whatsoever. Jumpy and Akane, the first game, more more heartwarming, warming. But after that, nope. Jumpy deserves three times better. Totally. Thank you, Mizuki. The day started with seeing all those awful things. Kizzy was on the brink of hating me. It could have been the worst day of my life, but now it's become the best day of my life. Which romance is worse, this or Jill? I don't, Jill had a romance? What are you talking about? Uh, believe it or not, and I can't believe I'm saying this, this is better. <laughs> this is better. <laughs> oh, you mean because we were in Horidori Institute past midnight? Hmm? Yeah, that too. That too? Iba, can I wink sink into Leon? I will not protest, but why? I got a feeling. I think Leon is hiding something. Got a feeling hmm. that it's a demon. Hey, is this for real? Why are you surprised? You didn't know? Well, I guess that makes sense. If you knew, you wouldn't have asked me to open the lock. And see what's inside. What did all that mean? Unknown. Leon must have seen something that shocked him. That must be what he was referring to earlier. Somnia? Hmm. Somnia. Somnia. What, were you gonna ask him about it? Thank no? You. It is all thanks to you, Big Sis. But I do not know how Father is going to take this news. That is my only concern. But I am an adult now. I will solve this on my own. I just got here. What did I'm Greg choose as his marble? Food I wish Wars. Both of you eternal happiness. S stop it, Big Sis. I'm gonna make Kizzy the happiest girl in the world. No, the whole universe. Leanne. <laughs> I mean, it is concerning, but I think we should focus on our investigation. Understood. Let us proceed to the next location. Can you shoot Leanne? I need something good to happen in this game, please. Hey, if it lets me, I will. No one's moved to anything? On that day six years ago, Shoma's father was found here. Indeed. Oh. But only his right side. What are you showing me? It is an image that was stored on the investigation database. I was not physically present. Not that it would have made a difference. I lost all memory from that incident six years ago. So, what do you want to do here? What? Well, I kind of just wanted to retrace the investigation steps. Well Oh, when the the explosion. All right, the explosion. Okay, Date's explosion. The explosion that killed Date. That explosion. 
How was it in the database? I thought that the database wasn't working. Hmm. Am I that mesmerizing? Yes. Hmm. I suppose you just cannot help yourself. I am the cutest thing in the world. I'm cuter. Is something wrong with your eyes? Oh, self-deprecating now? Oh. Koichi's estimated time of death was February 13th, 2200. The cause of death is obvious. Komeiji was kidnapped here and taken underground at Horidori Institute. Indeed. Komeiji's right half was found February 13th, six years ago. It was discovered by Ryuki, Amame, Iris, Shoma, and Kizuna. Ryuki came here with Komeiji in an attempt to contact Terror. He was attacked and rendered unconscious which also disabled Tama. I wonder if it was Terror that attacked him. That is the most likely possibility. While Ryuki was unconscious, the other four individuals entered. And Komeji's right side was found. But we never found the left side, did we? Anyway, it's weird that why that's are missing. you curious about this? Well, I'm done here. Let's get going. Oh. Ah! So what are you here for today, Mizuki? Food. Oh, I wanted to talk to Mame. We're kind of busy right now, so can you make it quick? Oh, I'm not here for you, Genny. I meant Amame is busy. Oh. Genny, are you mad about something? No, not at all. You seem a little mad. As you can see, I'm all smiles as usual. Okay. So, Mame, can we talk for a little bit? Oh, see um, Yeah. I'm not owned. I just want you to know I'm not owned right now. I'm actually very calm right now. I'm not owned at all. Like I said, fine. I'm just focusing on work, that's all. You asked me that like you were asking for a glass of water. That facility. It's a really touchy subject for me. It's not something I want to casually discuss here. If you really want to know, at least wait until after work. Uh, I've heard about some group like that, yeah. But I don't really know anything about it. Telling lies. What is that? I've never even heard of it. Yeah, I haven't really been doing well recently. But it's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. Horidori Institute. What's that? I'm not familiar. I'm really tired, chat. I'm not as tired as I was 20 minutes ago. So I think we can get to four hours. But I'm just kind of just letting the game play out. So sorry if that's boring. But you know, sometimes we just need to go through the game. I know the name. I saw it on some occult website, but I don't know anything more than Me that. Me too, I didn't sleep last night. I did sleep last night, which is the messed up thing, and I also slept the night before. I don't get it. I'm more tired today and yesterday than I was the other days when I only slept like 3 hours and 48 hours. I don't understand. Sorry, but like I said before, I don't really know any of the details. I just looked it up online. Okay. Mizuki, take a look at this. Mame, not just her, Gen as well. What do you think? They are both hiding something. Guess they leave us no choice. Let's have a look. Dual Somnium? Yes. Wait, can we just double wing sync whatever we want now? <sighs> what do I do? I have to obey. I... Help me, Dad. You're watching from heaven, right? So please. Obey? She also mentioned her father. Watching from heaven. Right. Hold on. I require charging between wink sinks. No, you don't. Can't we use the backup? You mean like I did for Kizuna and Lian? Yeah. Those were special circumstances. Come on, just do it. <sighs> Fine. But I did warn you. Sorry, Kenny. I shouldn't have told you. It's okay, Amame. I made an oath. I will protect you with my life. So don't you worry about a thing. Interesting. I'm worried. Amame must have told Gen something very important. 
Perhaps a secret. How are you charging Iba so fast between these wink sinks that take her whole entire battery? When when we went to the fucking warehouse in the first game, drove all the way there for like fucking half an hour, and you were charging the whole time in the car. It was like, oh no, I only have one percent battery. Oh no, like like come on. Six years. So they, they upgraded her to a new i1. All right. So I guess you can use the backup eyeball to, you know, do any of your vegetables now. I guess that makes sense. Hey, about your dad. Um, Mame, this might be a touchy subject, but your dad, is he deceased? Yes. Six you years couldn't ago. wing sync before? You actually could, we just never asked if we could. So that is the situation. Six years ago, your dad died? Date's your dad? The two of them are hiding something important. Indeed. Oh, by the way, this is all your fault. Huh? I am out of battery. Hey, wait! Aiba! Aiba! Oh, this was a... I need to have to work now. If this was a Kojima game, there were... this side of the screen would be dark right now. And I know that because that happened in a Kojima game. Huh? And I need to go shopping. I'm low on ingredients. Wait. Bye. Goodbye. Ugh. What is going on? All right, let's go and look in the freezer while they're gone. Because I was not here to record it. We'll see some weird, wild, wacky shit and no one will believe us. Oh, Mizuki. Drinking early, I see. I need to ride later, so I'm not drinking. Also, I'm underage. <laughs> I'm just joking. You're here to gather some intel, right? In search of lost tire irons. Ooh. Wanna watch a video of a female praying mantis devouring a male? Oh, hell yeah. Whoa, I am kinda curious, but not now. Curse you, Mizuki. I wonder if that dipshit has spent more nights sleeping on this than the couch. Dipshit. Oh, Date. Of course. Uh... Okay, that that wasn't spoken like Date is dead at all. Not not even a little bit was that was the read on that that he he's dead. Like no fucking way. Here's a question. If you get it, I'll buy you a drink. What's something that hangs down the middle of a man? They come in different shapes and sizes, too. Tie? A necktie? <clears throat> oh! I was talking about wieners. Oh, okay. The reversal. What's your favorite character in the Wizard of Oz? Scarecrow. How does that Scarecrow talk without a brain? Plot hole, I know. I'm sorry, but I don't have anything for you. If anything, I want some answers from you. About what? Well, about Jin's left half being found at the stadium three days ago. Oh, I can't tell you anything about that. Could his body have traveled through time? That's impossible. I didn't tell about the one-wheeled robot. It would take a while to explain. Not, there's not really. There's something fishy about that stadium. Maybe there's some strange device hidden there. Think about it. They've been doing construction there for half a year. They said something about some issues with the structure. Maybe that's just a cover-up, and they're really working on something else. Like what? Like a time portal to teleport Jin's left half from six years ago. It feels like Mama has changed ever since she started telling fortunes. I don't remember her talking about occult stuff like that before. Hmm. Hmm. Horadori Institute, huh? Oh, I remember. You know that they were closed down once about 15 years ago, right? The underground was abuzz with rumors about them doing some sketchy research. Rumor is, the one who leaked the story was Leo. Richie Chieda. Oh. Mr. Chieda? Richie Chieda is a major stakeholder at Horadori Institute. He must have had plenty of opportunities to gather insider info. 
He's the chairman of an orphanage, you know. He really does love children. So maybe he decided he couldn't turn a blind eye. Also been uh, woefully absent for the story for someone who has a unique character model, huh? Hmm. What about them? When is half of him oh, going to show up? nothing important. Crystal is just kind of meaningful to me. How so? That's what I was named after. Crystal and Kanji can be read as Mizuki. That's what Daddy told me a long time ago. That's beautiful. I think it fits you perfectly. Which Daddy? Oh, I guess it wasn't his idea. Uh-oh. Thanks, Mama. If anything comes up, be sure to tell me. You're welcome. Uh, by the way, Mizuki, any boyfriends? Uh, that came out of nowhere. I was just hoping for an introduction, is all. Uh, unfortunately, not right now. Not right now? I go to an all-girls school. Finding a boyfriend there would be pretty difficult, wouldn't it? Okay, okay. I should have gone to college. Oh, well. Come back soon. And next time, get a ride from someone, hmm? I told you I'm not drinking! Oh, we're going back here again? Remember when we took the voice recorder thing and never used it? Dude, do you, are you hey, ever Mizuki, anywhere else? What are you here for? I'm investigating the HB case. I was hoping to get some new information. Ah, uh, new info, huh? I'm doing an impression of that famous third generation thief jumping into bed. First, do not get angry when an update is required for playing a game. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That is completely justified anger. Hey, Mizuki. Does looking at that lantern give you ideas? Give me ideas? Like, fear or something? No. Uh, oh. I, I see. Hey, everyone. Let me introduce my beautiful wife. It's Iris Sagan. Oh, honey. We're married now, so it's Iris Kumakura, isn't it? <laughs> You're right. Hello, everyone. I'm Iris Kumakura. Nice to meet you. I fell in love with Mama's masculine manliness, so I just had to marry him. Yes! Congratulations! I'm so happy you are too! Boo! Mama's imagination is running wild. He might be going crazy too. That was pretty loud, wasn't it? Well, let's see. I don't know if this is related to the HB case, but at Iowin, the joint run by Richie Chieda, a long time ago, one of their kids went missing. There's a rumor that Chikara Horadori had something to do with it. You mean he kidnapped the child? There was a dessert I had in Hong Kong that was deep fried ice cream with liquor poured over it, then lit on fire with a blowtorch. Shit fucking rocked. Was it expensive? That sounds expensive. I tried that. That sounds fancy. I don't know, but I do know that Chikara's been doing shady shit for a while. Went around the country doing DNA examinations of children. Plus all that sketchy research he was doing. Maybe he was using the kids as part of his research or something. Maybe combining bodies. Combining bodies? Oh, you were a kid when you had it? Okay. What do you think I'm doing? I'm watching Tess's new video. Ooh. I don't know, like cutting two bodies in half right down the middle? And then you combine the left half of one with the right half of the other? What? Hold on. Why would they do that? I don't know. No way of knowing what's going on inside some nut job's head. Anyway, Chikara was supposed to be doing shit like that. And that's definitely related to the HB case. Yeah, maybe. It seems that Chikara really was attempting the experiment Mama described. That would explain the machines in the basement. And why there were two. Damn. Thanks, Mama. I think what you told me might turn out to be a big help. Nah, don't thank me. Well, sorry, what, what did he what did he say? Instead of thanks, <laughs> could you bring Tessa with you next time? <laughs> I'll think about it. Alright. Alright. I'm looking forward to it. Yay, lemon skate. Oh yes! Alright, whoa, 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 hold on. 
Yes! Who the hell are you? Mizuki, kiss me! What? Kiss me, Mizuki! I just realized this. Kiss me, Mizuki is a palindrome. No, it isn't. Hey, didn't think the president herself would show up. Yeah, I'm not here for work today. Investigating the case? Yeah, I'm doing some questioning. Based on Lemnusgate's schedule, I knew Iris would be here. So I wanted to come talk. There's a receptionist sitting behind the desk. There's, There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting behind the desk. A receptionist with huge breasts is sitting. The big titty receptionist. <laughs> big titty. Titty. There are big titties sitting behind the desk. Are you malfunctioning? Are you trying to seduce me into going to a Tommy with you? No. Oh, Prez. You look cute today. Cutest in the whole wide world. <laughs> Can you raise my salary? Nah. <sighs> of course. I always give it my hundo percent. Like when one of those big shot producer guys comes in here, I greet them at the desk naked. Yeah, you're fired. Aw, come on. Bring me on full time. I don't think so. Oh, then you must want a little puff puff, huh? I'll do it, if you get my riddle right. What's it called when you get a little penetration and it hurts at first, but then it makes you feel all nice and woozy? Your first time? Like what what? Like what? Uh, wrong! The answer is donating blood. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Stop. Do not interact with him. Why not? I recognize him. He is a Kumakura. But there is something abnormal about him. What do you want? You've got a problem? Yeah. No, I was just wondering what you were doing here. Why am I here? Duh, Yomante. Iomante? Hit it in the head and you can hear the sound of civilization. Curry rice? School bag? Shishamo hell? Hey! <laughs> Wake up, old man Shamo! Old man Shamo! Did I fall asleep? Shamo. Old man Shamo! Gregory! Gregory! <laughs> Greco Roman style! Oh, he's crazy. I told you not to talk to him. Special regarding wireworms. Mizuki, can you steal it for me later? I'm the president here. I don't need to steal. Sometimes they show Tessa's videos there. Yeah, the most recent one we shot was me splitting watermelon on the beach. I want to see. Man, a watermelon. Huh? Did you want to ask me something? Nope, not at all. Oh, come on. Can't you ask me something like, why are you here? You're just waiting for Iris, aren't you? Yeah, you nailed it. I got I got us lunch today while I was out with Kate and I almost made owl noises when the price got rung up. I was like, what what's going on? What? It was really good though. Like man, that it was it was good eats today. Holy shit. Thank you, Keylox, for the uh gift gifted sub to We Are So Back. We're so back. Where does We Are So Back come from? I feel like it's everywhere now. I'm not an informant, you know. I know, but you're always on top of gossip and rumors. Well, if that's what you're looking for... You got something? Remember when I told you about the video two days ago? The Nirvana trial, right? Why are we taking Iris seriously? And that seriously? many people have gone missing after watching the video. Yeah, that! I heard there's something big going down. Something big? Recently, we've been hearing rumors from all over Japan. A bunch of people have started acting really weird. I had a pizza today together with the fountain soda. It was 20 euro, so 29 Canadian dollars. A, a whole pizza? How big was the pizza? Was it like a two liter fountain soda? 
That's cheap ass pizza. That's that's cheap pizza. What? What kind of pizza are you all getting? What kind of toppings are we talk? That's 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 true. We need to know. We need to know how many toppings there are. The fountain soda was unlimited. You wait. Hold on. You went to a sit down restaurant and ordered a whole pizza. Were you alone? Yeah. Did you did you take some home with you? What's wrong with that? I I feel like ordering a whole ass pizza at a sit-down place is not like normal eating alone in a restaurant's fine there's nothing wrong with that but like getting a whole pizza like why don't you just get some slices instead it's normal in finland that's true i don't know enough about finland that that sounds expensive to me we don't do that Umfi. you don't do what you don't do just slices oh, okay joe how big of a pizza are you thinking i was told it was like like upper end of medium that's a pretty big fucking pizza that's, you can't eat that in one sitting. I mean, you could, but you're gonna feel sick afterwards. Your stomach is weak. Hey, there has been a point in my life where I have eaten a whole pizza in one sitting, okay? And I have always like liked it at the time and then regretted it afterwards. I did feel sick afterwards, but it was a combo of the heat, the soda, and the full grain dough. I eat whole pizzas all the time. How big are the pizzas? Calories in entire Domino's medium pizza. Seems like it's it's going at least 200 calories a slice, and there's like eight slices. That's insane. The pizza place has a calorie calculator, and it says the pizza ham, olive, shrimp, blue cheese. What the fuck are you getting on your pizza? It was 1,400 calories total. All right, so that's that's a little smaller than a medium pizza then. Okay, so it's not that it's big of a like pizza. A personal, it's personal. Yeah, that's that's not too bad. 1,400 calorie pizza. Okay. I think I think you oversold the size of the pizza. I, I and I'm okay with it now. This this feels like more of a of a personal size pizza. You can't order just slices at, at a sit down in America unless it's very specific, like a pizza place. Any any place that sells pizza is a pizza place. I've gotten two large ones at once. Once you were, you ate two large pizzas in one sitting. You ate you ate almost five. Th thousand calories of pizza in one sitting okay do we have to have the calorie talk in chat are there people in chat that don't really know what a calorie is and they're a little too afraid for you were there for an hour oh my god when you when you pooped did you die why are you still here close the door, so <laughs> chat is this pizza course piz court uh very nice Two larges is very easy to achieve if you hate yourself if if you're the rock maybe but what 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 are you talking about I honestly think if I tried to eat two large pizzas, I would vomit halfway through the second one. If you want to see an example of the kind of pizza it was, I can post an image and then- Yeah, fuck it, why not? Yeah, why not? Let's go for it, yeah. Dude, you're kind of sad if you can't handle that. I'm- I'm the sad one. I'm the sad one for not being able to eat two large pizzas in one sitting. While- while on the hub on my phone. I- I'm- I'm the large one. It's, I'm the- <laughs> I'm the weak one. <laughs> what are you talking about? Please tell me the diameter you mean with medium large. Those were, those words mean nothing. I think I, I like like proposed that it was like five thousand calories worth of pizza, and they confirmed that it was about that. Yeah. How do you not get tired of pizza after the first one? Whoa, 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 whoa! Let's not slam during pizza. We're not going that far. This is this isn't a case of I don't want to. It's a case that I can't. All right. Apparently, the pizza picture has been posted. What the fuck is that? What are these, what are these like pie strips on top of it? It looks pretty good. I I have to say it's a little bigger than I thought it was gonna be for 1400 calories. This is the pizza. It's not, it's not that small of a pizza, huh? It's pretty big. No, it's not. What do you mean it's not? What? This, this is not like, I wouldn't call this a large pizza, but it's not a small pizza. Yeah, it's not, it's not a small pizza. I would not be able to finish it. I think I, I think I would possibly get full while eating this, yeah. Especially because there's a bunch of stuff layered on it. Although it is hard to tell how thick is the crust, right? It's maybe also it's a, a lot of bread. Maybe it's a thin crust, yeah. Even if it is thin crust, it's a lot of bread. What's the dip? Who's dipping their pizza? If pizza needs a dip, it's bad I pizza. Like garlic done my pizza. It, okay, dipping the crust is fine. But dipping the pizza. It's ranch dip, but that means different thing in different places. Ugh. All right. 
Is Pizzagate over now? Oh shit, Pizzagate is a, is a, oh, is, is Pizzagate a real thing? Oh shit. Is it? Am I, oh fucking hell. Why does she look weird? Why does she look all fuzzy and pixelated? What's going on? Did she look like that before? That is accurate. National news stations are beginning to report on this phenomenon. Well, what do you mean by acting weird? Like people who start dancing for no reason, smash glass windows in stores. Oh, listen to a high school girl when they say to kill everyone. No, Joe, it's like a carnivore, but you only eat pizza. No, it's this chat. It, it could, it could be the other thing. Some people have been reported rolling up and down the streets, or hitting their heads on light poles. Standing in the middle of an intersection for tens of hours. Running into a wall over and over and over again. And also, people jumping. Up walls? Yeah. Jumping off rooftops. Are you saying this was all caused by the Nirvana trial? Yeah. All those people started acting strangely after watching the video. Any evidence? Any recordings? I bet. Does that video have some kind of mind control effect? No, it does not. After all, you saw the video as well. Good point. And I'm as normal as ever. Hey, about that guy. What's he doing here? I don't know. He was here when I got here. There's something wrong with him. Is he doing hard drugs or something? Shh, he'll hear you! Oh no, he's coming over. Told you! You saw the video too? What? The Nirvana trial. I did. Yeah. So you must have went there. Where? Let me just tell you this. The practice run will be done on the rooftop of Misatan. Later. See you later. Wait, a line oh, through the Nemeskate, Lemeskate logo happened. would make percent. Oh! I wonder if he saw the video too. Nah. Seems so. So the rumors were true. Watching the video makes you go crazy? Yeah. I am curious about what he said. The practice run will be done on the rooftop of Misatot. But then again, calling him scatterbrained would be charitable. We probably do not need to put too much stock into what he said. Thinking about it isn't going to get us anywhere. Anyway, Iris and Ota, I'm going to get going. Okay, see ya! Good luck with the investigation! Where to go drink? Uh, Shinbashi. Stereotypical salary man. There are ton there are tons of good stores, I guess. Iris is our top money maker. Oh god. We're not doing well then, are we? The shrine. If you want, you can save and reload. I don't think that works anymore. But as soon as I got here, a suspicious group of people caught my attention. Uh, it didn't work when I started playing either. I know some people whoa. Some people used to do that, but I think they fixed it. Uh, they're not specifically Maybe still away. the armed group that went into hiding. What are they doing here? Why don't you interrogate them? I don't think they're just gonna answer me. In that case, I forgot to clean my belly button. Who cares about your belly button? I do. I care about my belly we button. We can use that tree to. Sorry, can't think of anything. What is your plan? We can throw the stone monument at them. Sure, good luck with that. We doing a group we, we wing sync? <laughs> I'm looking forward to the rehearsal tonight. A rocket with TC Purge and the warhead. We shoot this up and. <laughs> Rocket. TC Purge? Terror wrote about the same thing. One thing I needed was being created in this very facility. TC Purge, that's a wonderful virus. If it's implemented into a rocket, Tata. it would cause TC Purge to spread. Airborne. Where are they gonna shoot off a rocket? Likely not around here. 
I searched the area with X-ray, but I did not find anything of that nature. Then... Hey, excuse me. What do you want? I want to ask you something. Where's the rocket at? Uh... Could you be less subtle? You are supposed to be a detective. How do you know about it? <sighs> Who cares how? Yeah, because now that you know... Wait, hold on. Are we gonna fight? Just so you know, I'm really strong. When I was in elementary school, I kicked down a tree. Wait a minute. I've seen you before. Yep, that's me. We fought at the cathedral six years ago, right? So you do remember. Anyway, you and your goon should really back off. <laughs> You're just one little girl. And now that you know our secret, we can't just let you leave. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do this. Well, I hope I don't have to hit buttons, because I want to drink my tea. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> All right. Bring it on. You should take us more seriously. Let's go. Are you okay? Uh, you? Not strong, by the way. We'll talk later. Let's handle them first. Okay, let's go. Robot parts. Uh Oh no! What if I fail? Does it, is it just like fuck you? Try again? Iba, allow me to assist. Hoddle? Like what if I fail? Oh wow! Just Mizuki, cut, stay with cut me. to the same fail Mizuki. state. Mizuki. 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 Snake. Snake. Ouch. Oh. Damn it. The rehearsal is soon. We can't waste any more time here. Ah, screw it. Let's just get out of here. Hey, why why aren't we capturing nowhere. one of them to put in a somnium? What are we doing? What happened? She's are fine. You okay? It's fine. It'll pass. Don't worry about me. Go after them. Uh, what? They're gone. Damn. Even squeakier than usual tonight. Or creakier than usual. Imagine if we somnium the random goon had to deal with all their personal problems. Really good Austin Powers bit. Why didn't you chase after them? You should have just left me. No, I couldn't do that. Anyway, why come here? I find comfort here. I was raised at Iowan. What? Huh, is that a cliff I see? Oh darn, we're overtime. I told you that I'm investigating the genome research, right? Yeah, you did. You said, I want to know who did this to me. I was a subject of their experiments. I guess you can call me a designer baby. I don't even know my real parents. I was the result of artificial insemination and genome manipulation. But because of that, my physical abilities exceed that of a regular human. I hear it's a side effect of eternal youth and life. Not that I'm grateful for it. Just like me. The price I had to pay yeah. was too high. I was born with a blind left eye and heart issues. I was told I wouldn't last long. I see. The children here ultimately got adopted. 
but unfortunately I didn't. Do you know why? I'm blind in one eye. And you saw the condition of my heart earlier. Frail children aren't really in high demand. But you did get adopted, right? Yeah. When I was 15. Long story short, a lot happened. And I decided to live my new life with my adopted family. So you were here until you were 15? No. I was only here till I was 9. From the ages of 9 to 15, I was raised by a different family. I really got along with my new sibling. Was her name Looking Kazuna? Back at it, those six years were the most peaceful of my life. Six years. Yes. I spent a few years of my youth here. Okay, so she's... I'm wrong then. She's not a Mizuki clone because there's no way... Or maybe we're, we're the clone of her. Um, or the same DNA used again. Because there's no way that Kazuna wouldn't recognize us as the same as uh, her older sister that she had or whatever. But I wasn't here 24 hours a day. For a few days out of the week. They had me at a research facility. You mean... Yeah. Oradori Institute. But one day they went out of commission. I never went back. Um, thank you for sharing that with me. Why did you suddenly decide to tell me? I felt like it. You felt like it? Then can you tell me more? No. Why not? I've talked enough about me. Enough? But there's still so many questions. Why did you help me? Who even are you? I don't want you to get involved. What do you mean by that? Why are you so protective of me? <laughs> Why'd you shoot us? Are you having another seizure? It's from the fight earlier. It's not a big deal. I just need to rest a little bit. In the Somnium chair? Somnium. Oh no, she passed out. Well... Better She's not out. miss this opportunity Perfect. for Somnium. Why not take her to uh, for HQ fuck's sake and sink into her? What? What are you talking about? How about we take her to the hospital because she has a heart problem? She has a bad heart. What if she dies? Yeah. Calm down, Mizuki. She'll be fine. She's unconscious, but her vital yeah. signs are stable. Dude, just trust if me. If you're careful with her, there will not be any issues. Are you sure? I can guarantee there is no danger in sinking with her. Oh, okay. Fine. Let's go. Do 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 She still has her mask on. Uh oh. Yeah, why don't we take it off? What if we need to like do some emergency resuscitation to or something? If someone goes bad in the machine like it did last time with 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 uh with Gen. What are we doing? This is dumb. There is nothing we can do. This is dumb. It is attached with NASA grade adhesive. Is it though? Don't don't we have to be able to like look at through the visor? Like will she even I can still sink into her, right? Of course. As long as there are holes for her eyes. Are there? But shouldn't you be worried about something else? What do you mean? There's only six minutes of him. Boss, you know sinking without permission is prohibited. Bitch, this was your idea! If she finds out, she'll make you shave your head. I don't have a choice! Not my fault she's out in Kabuki Cho drinking margaritas! Seems like she took Pewter with her too. Jeez, what are those two thinking? We still have to solve the HB case. A new philosophy behind government work, I suppose. They prioritize saving work for themselves over apprehending criminals. That sucks. I agree. Also, if they cared about it, they make it so that you can't do uh, a Somnium without someone up there running the terminal. Even though Iba can kind of hack in, there would be some failsafe. Shall I give you the usual warning? Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Skip it. No. As you wish. Let's get started. Three, two, one. Hmm? Stop the bet. Stop the count. A somnium could take an hour. We're not doing a somnium. This place is... Oh, we're in that basement room. Okay. All right. Well, that's that. Somnium the Caesar patient. What could go wrong, Lameo? God, yeah, it's uh, it's dumb. But you know what? We were we were due for a somnium, so we have to do it. Gotta do it. All right, Joe, guess the whole plot. 
I don't think I can guess the whole plot. It seems like it's going to be the first game again, though. That that terror is actually just like keeps keeps cutting cutting someone in half, and then like takes that half of the body, and and dumps and dumps the corpse, and like look, I killed someone. Meanwhile, they're walking around with the half of the other half of the person they just killed, and then the next time they come around, he discards the other half and just keeps going, and this like sh ship of terror uh, us. As he goes from 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 uh, victim to victim, but I don't understand how that that could work when it comes to like the bodies lining up or some shit. I don't know. More as hard as you can, please. Just spoil the chat. At, at this point, I'm I'm like expecting actual straight up time travel. I don't know how that's gonna happen, but like I don't know like or or like fucking like they unleash that that stupid fucking phage bullshit, and um and like. Everything is just a, a communal mass hallucination. And the whole entire game has just been like, lol, like it was all a dream, fuck you. Like, and we have to break out of it. And you thought it was a simulation when really, no, it's it's just the mass hysteria kicking in or this fucking drug shit. Who's your favorite main character out of the, out of the two games? Uh, of the detectives, Date for sure. Of, if you're counting the um, the AI partners, I like Aiba a lot. I like the Aiba Date dynamic. I like Tama. I didn't really like uh, Ryuki. Mizuki is okay, but her carrying the game right now is is not really working out as well as I thought it might. I don't know. Like 